Do we drift off into a Spelljammer campaign tonight? No. But, uh, some announcements before we begin. Sam, take it off. Take 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 the reins. Uh, he said take it you off. You can do that too, I guess. Um, oh, I thought, oh. Banned on Twitch instantly. 
what? This is, this, there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing uh, uh, against the TOS uh, over here. Ever, yeah. any, any nipple. Any nipple. Is it any? Any nip. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Slightest nip slip and you're done. That's why they had to wear swim tops when yeah. they did the poolside interview at see, Critical Role. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. I'll get my I'll get my nipple tape. Uh okay, uh what are my uh, announcements? My uh we've got Codex Legendarium on Sunday. Last week we uh were a little bit late because I was getting tattooed and it ran later than I expected. Um but uh yeah, new stuff, fun stuff. They're at a party. They finally showed up to Dieter von Stark's soiree. And I realized after the fact that uh, all three, the half of the party was politically inclined, and all three of them are currently not present. Uh, so it's just the non politically inclined ones. We're I'm loosely pit it politically inclined. I know, right? But like we had like two, no, two like full on intentional nobles, three like full on like nobles were like yeah. talking to people is my jam. Yeah. And they're all not here for this part. Yeah. So when we're when we're doing like you know tramping through the woods and killing monsters later and they're just like where's my nobility stuff and be like i'm sorry you left in the middle of it anyway uh yep. <laughs> the, we're gonna get to that oh yeah also at the end of last session uh the last thing that happened was yuliana's character walked over to or yuliana walked over to a uh, circus tent at the party and was like this couldn't possibly be my circus that like abandoned me in the tundra and then it was <laughs> so that's the cliffhanger we left on yay you know, in a story, that's usually how it happens when you're a protagonist. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's always a great thing to wonder, you know, why this story, why now? And it's even yeah, better yeah. when that character is very, is an unreliable narrator in their story. Mm -hmm. um, yep. We should be back. We are back with our Ravenloft campaign tomorrow night. It's been a little funky for the schedule, so, you know, it's going <laughs> to be interesting. It's still only two people that are alive, but we'll figure things out, I guess. Because, um, you know, half the party died, and then in a house, and then uh, just kind of went from there. You know, uh, but it's yeah, so but that's nice normal to die. when I play, let's be honest, on Thursday nights. I was going to say, it's so nice to die at home, you know. It is. It wasn't their home, but... Uh, oh, oh no. It, it was an experience. Um, <laughs> and, you know, it's no Ravenloft, so ways it's, to die. Yeah, things happen. But uh, you can watch the last two weeks ago's VOD, where an old man got lured to his death. So go watch that. Um, <laughs> that's what I like about Ravenloft. Morally gray. Um, Talk about Ravenloft. But uh, yeah, we'll be back with that tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Kate, anything for you? Uh, you know what? Uh, it's getting to be that uh, pre-shopping season for the holidays. They're coming up. If you want to give anyone, you know, Thanksgiving presents or Halloween presents or uh, Christmas presents or Hanukkah presents or Kwanzaa presents, uh, check out Etsy.com slash shop slash Kate Craft Studio US for some nice handmade gifts you can give to your loved ones this upcoming holiday season, if that's your jam. If not, just buy something nice for yourself. You deserve it. You worked hard this year and you're going to keep working hard this year. So buy yourself something nice. I won't. Um, Justin, self care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Treat yourself. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so, without further ado, I suppose, uh, last we left off, home. hide and seek. Long story short, most of the session was a game of hide and seek. Uh, Ricky was the first seeker, sort of, uh, and caught Druck instantly. His Druck was just kind of standing around. And the two of them became Seekers, and long story short, everyone hid pretty well, but Flitz won, but was caught by Coin after Coin was caught, while Coin dive-bombed out of the sky like a stealth bomber, and got Flitz. Uh, and while everyone is kind of getting it back into the house, Coin and Flitz had a weird experience outside. Coin saw what looked like an invisible sort of figure standing behind Flitz, the snow only visible because the snowflakes were falling on this invisible form. Coin headbutted the thing, and it turned into like a straw, weird cloth doll that they brought inside. It was deemed kind of weird and creepy, but hey, maybe it was the kids in town playing a prank. So Coin went with Richmond Springs, the owner, the guy hosting this whole event, and brought the mannequin in, or the weird thing into the uh, greenhouse and locked it in there. <clears throat> and the night just got weirder. 
Or no, it didn't. Everyone went to bed. Then the morning got weird. Everyone did their watch. Ricky didn't blink for their whole watch. So Ricky's currently got a disadvantage on perception checks via sight because mm -hmm. their eyes are all like swollen. Um, and saw Richmond at about 5 o'clock in the morning just gathered grabbing a snack from the kitchen. But lo and behold, come the next morning, Richmond was murdered in his bed and it looked like he had been dead far longer than the time frame that Ricky had seen him. So maybe it was Ricky's fault. Ricky did it all. And um, <clears throat> you all started investigating the house and some weird things happened during said investigation. And the remaining siblings, half siblings of Kenna, were being kind of weird, not talking too much. And when asked how long they'd been here for, they said, we never arrived, which probably threw some red flags off towards two of the group, Ken and uh, Coin, who led the siblings to the study and locked them in the study <clears throat> and opened up the entrance to the attic and watched as the siblings' bodies fell out of the attic. So like, ah, well, that solves that, and went back to Richmond's room where everybody else was to find the door locked and this weird thing peeking through, this like shadowy entity peeking through the door, looking at everybody in there. It was dealt with, and the party decided to go investigate the cellar because that's where Richmond was seen kind of bringing snacks back from that vicinity y'all descended down into the cellar and could hear uh, kind of could hear whispers of voice speaking in celestial and it said something about binding the child to my flesh a weird just weird you know stuff you hear every day and uh, the voice then a voice sounding like Kenneth's father Pascal said help me help me help me and kind of booked it into the room and saw the room the base of the cellar had been sort of set up in this sort of strange ritual circle similar to the one that was in Kenneth's basement uh, furniture was still scattered all over the place there was candles lit and this hulking green humanoid about 12 feet tall pale green skin riddled with black veins large wings of bone where feathers looked like they were growing back black feathers we're in the process of eating this head before turning to face Kenna, and that's where we're going to pick up. Uh, <coughs> Does not appear immediately uh, hostile, just turns around to look at you. Uh, I'm going to quickly follow in, but I don't want to take away from this vocal moment. Yep. I, just, I would try, if, if I can. You can, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, in Celestial, I'm just gonna shout stop. Stops, doesn't do anything. Just looks at you. What are you doing? Performing a ritual. Well, stop. I did. Because he, he consumed the head at the end of the last session, so he's like, the ritual's done. Why are you doing this? Doing what? I just saw you eat his head off. Oh. That. <sighs> I'm glad we can finally have a chance to talk. First off, I've been looking forward to meeting you. To answer your question, what do you know about the conflict between the World Breakers? Admittedly, not much. Well, I fought in Halasar before the city fell. I was tasked by Armathanen to protect what the city was built on top of. And during that conflict, I was grievously wounded by Grast. My body broken and rotting. He had corrupted my beautiful form. I wanted to restore myself, but the magic he inflicted upon me had taken its toll. I discovered an ancient abyssal ritual that could fix me, but there was a cost. I had to consume my own flesh and blood, but I had none, so I found a simple fix. 
I had to make my own. I sought out desperate people, unable to conceive children of their own, and offered up my services through my servants, Shindara and Kiafir. <sighs> I've been consuming these children for two thousand years, and I have reached the end. I just needed the ones that Richmond brought to me, like the good son he was. And this is all in Celestial, by the way. But that shit's still dramatic as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Someone take notes for me! <laughs> all I hear is he sing doesn't sound good. Uh, so I'm gonna... So when he speaks celestial, I like to imagine it as like sort of biblical, weird voices all speaking at once, like a cacophony, but you can't understand it. That's kind mm -hmm. of how I view celestial. Yeah. It's not like unnervingly weird, like beautiful, oh. but weird. Like, like a, sort like of a, like a handful of voices in a choir. Kind yeah, of. but right. yeah, weird. It's imagining yeah, like haunting. Like, uh, just all minor chords going on. Yeah, sure, all minor chords when yeah. you speak Celestial. Like, all. Oh. <laughs> the, what comes to mind is that uh, that scene in Home Alone where he goes to church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that answer your question? They were people. We were people. We had lives. They don't die. I'm sure you've seen. They're monsters. You made them monsters. They were monsters to begin with. I simply... gave a little spark that was needed. What does that make me? You were different. How? How am I any different from the rest of them? They couldn't do what you do. Speak with the dead. Summon the dead. You're far more powerful than any of my children. You're my favorite. That doesn't make me feel any better. I didn't think it would, but your parents came to my servants and asked that I make you and here we are why have you been threatening me why can I couldn't I tell anyone this would have been much simpler if you would just let me talk about it I wanted to ensure I don't really know. Wanted to see what you do. Mostly. You're looking at it. I'm impressed. What, just because we killed the moon and deposited magic into the planet? That was integral to what needs to happen, yes. If you're going to use me, you're going to have to make me trust you first. It's hard you seem to know so much. You know what we're capable of. I do. It's hard to explain. I want okay. to kill the Lord of the Dawn Life. You want to kill the what now? Our Mathman. He is a liar and a deceiver. And he has lied to every mortal. Everyone. And, uh, I, 
I don't mean to quabble. Usually in a fight, there's not this much talking. He switches also, to common. There is no fight. Unless... Oh, shit. We see how this goes. I have no intentions of harming okay. my child or friends or their friends are a different matter. <clears throat> We shall see. Can I sidebar with my party real quick? This is just a lot. I feel like I should fill him in. How about yeah, this? Drug. And he switches drug. to common and tells Kenna everything he said in Celestial. Right, okay. Uh... <sighs> so guys, we're killing another god. Uh, no, everyone else is outside of that. Yeah, I was going to, so yeah, do you think, do you think that was a? Uh, do you think that was a, uh, uh, a death? One of those black death balls that they just ran into. And you can hear themselves. talking. Oh, yeah. And then yeah, you can hear the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I drunk what I heard. You have a little snow in your ear still. Can, you can, you have a little sleep when Kenna ran into the room, eyes, you can still see Kenna. Because then when she runs into the or when they run into the room, the darkness that was obscuring everything kind of just. Okay. Forgot to mention okay. that part. I was. I figured they just like disappeared into darkness, and I've just seen that happen too many times. And have people just he, he dead? We've melted the veil. <laughs> he looks out into the corner and says, "You all can join if you'd like. It's important, perhaps." Whoa, you guys were not behind us? What the hell? The butler is not coming into the room. He's like, uh, I didn't sign up for this. Valid. Uh, also, uh, hate to tell you this, uh, but you're probably going to have to start looking for a new gig. Here. Uh, where's the deed to this place, by the way? It's like five I'm platinum pieces. He puts in you. Oswell's. Oh, okay. And he just leaves. Just fuck this shit. He runs. He's out. <laughs> I was going to give him some more. He's gone. It's fine, Flitz. So, the Faust and the Furious. Missing a few, it looks like. We've, uh, come across a few issues. Uh, coincidentally, also with the uh, Church of Armathnon. Uh, and its, uh, yes. previous leadership. It is it, that in reference to that, I mean, it's it's um, earthbound leadership and Those, it's celestial bound leadership as well. Uh, I, they had been a part of that nasty business. I'm saying not in that business that you speak of, but in right. That is, I, I meant to only implicate those who claimed to have represented Unrathnan. Uh, so you just finished the meal, but excuse me, I need to ask Kenna a question. Kenna? Yeah, Drak? Who is this person to you? Like, what are they? What do they, how, how do they fit into your, you? All right, everyone. This is my biological father, technically, Celestial. Yeah. Greetings. Hello, Kenna's dad. Hi. Hi. He does not odds. What's up with the creepy stuff upstairs? A side effect of my corruption. Can you stop it? I can now. Will, will you? Again, that depends on how this conversation goes. I don't know, what do you want to do? I mean... I'll answer any questions you have. If I can. Where's my dad? Where is he? <sighs> right here. 
But you probably nice. mean the yeah. one who raised you. Yeah. Seemed fairly obvious. Pascal is safe. Where? The heart of the verdant shores in a ramshackle hut. I sent him away. That backs up what we've heard. And as a celestial being, I cannot lie. Why? Why did you send him away? Why'd you kill my mother? I know she didn't die of no natural causes. The ritual <laughs> to make life required life. Your mother agreed. It's my fault. No. Your mother's still with you, yes? To a degree, yeah. Well, soon enough, you'll be able to fix that. How? Never seen it done longer than a week? There are ways. You'll get there, I'm sure. In Based on what I've seen. So you're saying if I do what you want, you can show me how to bring her back? Of course. I can bring anyone back. Now. All right. All right. I'm going to look to the rest of the group. How do you guys feel about killing a god again? About then. Well, that's complicated. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, I do not mean to interrupt you, but please uh, respect the sidebar. Please uh, respect the sidebar. You can see a couple eyes open on his pecs and kind of all over his body before they close again. Interrupt me again, it'll be the last thing you do. What? Why really? are we doing threats? I was really? saying respect sidebars. Why? Yes, why are we coming? Why are you coming? He, you kind, of like, we... he kind of twitches a little bit. <sighs> Apologies. Continue. What Thank is... you. You're the one asking for our help. I said continue. Just let it go, Paul. Right. Let's let go. It's, I've let it go. It's dropped on the ground. It's falling all over the place like soup spilled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to get tricky with Ben. <clears throat> is it? What's, why is he tricky? I can explain. So, I have answers. Kind of without uh, questions, so or without answers on that. Wait, what? I mean, if y'all can provide the answers to why it would be weird for Vin. I mean, Vin, Vin uh, he worships Amathnon. And so does Dax and their parents. Oh. I mean, that's Ken. Yes, but no. Yeah, it, but, in uh, the process of transitioning, but yeah. I mean, I've already pissed off more than one god at this point. If we kill our math, then I'm pretty sure Bahamut's gonna fucking kill me on Mount Celestia over and over again, okay? We kill mm. one god. You know what we're getting at here, right? Wait, wait first off, you killed a god? It, it was, I mean, uh, strictly speaking, uh, so we... full claimed, but still. Yes. We killed an entity that had uh, corrupted the moon. Oh, I was there. Yes. yes. Yeah, you, I we, didn't know that was related to... We had, yes. Godly stuff. Fritz, oh. Godslayer. High five. Tentative. 
together. Yeah, I uh, don't. I did. Okay. Uh, I vote no. Noted. Yeah. Uh, I need you to roll initiative. Ooh. Uh, oh, boy. Really? Yep. One no, and it's just time. <clears throat> Guess it had to be unanimous, guys. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, if you selected yes, you would have all had to fight Ven. That's just like that's what yeah. happened. Yeah. Yeah. Ven would have been a boss fight in the future. You don't know. The <clears throat> he's a, he's basically a cleric of our map. Then, like you can't. Basically. I mean, do what you want, but Dude's yeah. <laughs> Ricky's first combat. Ricky's first combat. <laughs> oh no! Or he leaves. <laughs> yeah, and he's and he's got the. He's not. Completely blinded, right? But... He's just no. He's just a disadvantage on perception. on perception checks. Yeah. Okay, okay. Wait. So Ricky's first combat is big celestial boss daddy. Flitz's first combat was moon. The moon. Yeah. Right. The moon. <laughs> wait to intro a group. Real small. <laughs> <laughs> to intro a group. All right. Give me a second. I gotta change. This is a big seller. Yeah. The tokens are extra small for some reason. I gotta change this. And your dad looks really tokens. cool and definitely not scary at all. But I will um, be placing you where you would probably be. At least I'd be placing coin and uh, can't, uh, the rest of you can choose where you are, but you can't really be too far into the chamber, obviously. We came from definitely the south, right? Getting famous last yeah. words from <clears> this site. <throat> yeah, Kenna's definitely within, like. Oh, yeah. I'm, like, at least 10 feet away from big old daddy. All right. Big old day. Big old day. I'm going to assume coin is right Ooh. beside you. Absolutely. Also, Ven's on What's here it? for some reason, so that's exciting. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Ven showed up. Okay, bitches. I heard, Make I heard the some, right choice. I heard some angel guy was... We're shit talking our math talking and let's shit. go. It's like we'll show up from the afterlife and kick well, his ass. Ven's getting answers in the afterlife too, so it's all very exciting. Oh yeah, one, two, three, oh, yeah. four, five. Uh, Druck Druck would be right, in, is let's that... drop Druck... our own loads uh, on this big daddy. Druck would be next to uh, Ricky. All right, I have to add Ricky to this apparently because I did not do that. Ricky actually left with. Yeah, Oswald. he's gone too. Like, no. <laughs> he's actually Bye. carrying Oswald. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> I'm just a fan. Ricky ran with his monk speed out of the building. Yeah, I'm just a fan. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I thought I had this all set up. I don't even have a token do you know for what, Ricky. Do you know what fan is short for? Only fans. Fanatic? Fanatic. Fanatic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Requarian Delagro. Almost use an air elemental token. Nice. Oh, I'm going to need a token, by the way. You have one. No, like an extra token. That sucks. I have a fun summoning spell. Ooh. That will well, be happening. Uh, Ricky, you could use an air just elemental. Like, it's All right, you know what? Ricky, you your token won't upload for some reason. Oh, no. So hmm. you're using Ben's token today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just for Ben fun. actually just consumes, becomes Ricky for a second. Shit. Like I said, <laughs> Ven's getting answers himself. Yeah. Uh, yeah so <clears throat> Ricky flits. Druck decks can be wherever you want. Just, uh, and you need a token for. Just it could be a sidebar thing. It's just I, I know I'm gonna do loot, so cool. Then it'll be all right. So that took longer than I thought it would. Uh, Druck, what'd you get for initiative? Uh, Druck got a uh, nat one for an eleven. Ooh, that <laughs> one for eleven. Uh, Flitz. <clears throat> uh, six. Six. All righty. All righty. Alrighty. So, uh, Papa Crimbo is up first. Oh, did you get mine? Oh, shit. No, I didn't. Oh, you got 16. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So, Papa Crimbo is just gonna. Is that his name? No. <laughs> it's Papa Crimbo? It's Kindnemer. It's a German translation. Kidnapper. Of, of, of Child Taker. Uh, I... yeah genius and uh he snaps his fingers and conjures this huge scythe made of necrotic energy that's hot yeah i know <laughs> um and he's gonna place a hand on coin 
and first it feels like healing energy and instead you feel a surge of necrotic energy course through your body i need you to make a constitution saving throw dc 17. so it's not it's not an attack he can just touch me it's an without... action yeah just attach i need you to make a constitution saving throw all right dc 17. roll so slow on my computer. The anticipation! Dice are telling a tale tonight. Uh, a total of five. You take 32 necrotic damage. Dope. <clears throat> Achata! Spicy! Yeah. He summoned a weapon to not hit me. That was 35, you said? 32. 32, thank you. Uh, and that'll bring us to... Dex. Okay, 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 okay. This is fine. Everything's fine. So these squares are five feet. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get this battle music going. <clears throat> Gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five, ten, fifteen. So I'm gonna stand there mm -hmm. for a second. And then I am going to bonus action rage and he needs to make a dc 17 intelligence save uh 17 flat 13 plus 4 oh dang it okay so close um and i'm going to go the rest of my movement well i get i guess i cuz i can hit him from here I am taking the Titan's Tooth Claymore, mm -hmm. and I am doing it reckless and... Great, um, weapon, great weapon master. Thank you. <laughs> all right. All right, you, you know you know what we're going So for. advantage, okay. minus five to all your attack rolls. That's not going to hit. That was a 13. No. With the minus 5. Nope. Okay, and second attack, same thing. Come on. Come on, do better. 20. 20 hits. Nice. Nice! So then I add a plus... 10. 10. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be... 24 damage plus my rage bonus which is 3 so 27, 27. damage nice cool and I think that's all I can do and I'm just here to support Kenna okay there's a legendary action oh boy he's going to swing oh the great scythe at Dax So that's going to be... I'm going to roll on the table, I think. And he gets advantage. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> how close is? How close are you to me? Ten, Ten feet. feet. God damn it. All right, so that's going to be 19 plus... Yeah, it is. Why did you do a plus six? Oh, because I rolled 2d20. Uh, 19 plus 12. Yeah, that hits. Some of y'all the party got a plus 11 to hit, so it's fair. Yep. Yep. Nope, that's fair enough, dude. Nine. Oh, so we are getting into higher stuff. Mm -hmm. it's nine. 15. 26 slashing damage reduced to... 13. 13. I can math. And then... 19 necrotic. Okay! We're good. Alright, that'll bring us to Ricky. Oh, what's happening? What do I do? Fight! Alright, okay, okay, alright. <laughs> like, Drek straight up puts up an arm and is just like, you don't have to listen to her. Just be safe. 
Uh, 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 no, no, I can do this. 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 Um, okay. Uh, Ricky is going to, uh, as part of his bonus action, roll up his sleeves mm-hmm. uh, and reveal the magic tattoos that he has all up and down his arms. Okay. Uh, which are black and in the shape of, uh, like, uh, animal claws that just like go along his wrist and stop just about where the cuffs of his sleeves were. Mm-hmm. Uh, so his bonus action, he's going to activate his Eldritch Claw tattoo. Yeah. Uh, for the Eldritch Maul. Uh, so as he does that, just like ink, the the claws, like it, the ink just kind of like flows off of his arm and extends out at a distance with those claws extending out past his hands out to a good long distance, giving him a 15 foot reach. Yep. Uh, and they all deal an extra 1d6 of force damage so this lasts for a minute uh, so he is going to move to 15 feet away which is one, two, here mm-hmm. 15 foot reach and then Ricky's just gonna send out two punches as just two uh, inky claws go flying over uh, everyone's uh, who is that uh, flying over Ken, which is like one past each of Kenna's ears. Okay, cool. Towards their dad. Uh, <laughs> so that's going to be first one is a dirty 20 to hit. That hits. Second one is a 26 to hit. That hits. All right. So the first one is going to be uh, seven, seven bludgeoning plus five force. For a total okay. of twelve. Is that magical bludgeoning? Uh, I be- let me double check. I it believe be I'm at the now, right? yeah. I believe I'm at the high enough level that my uh, I think it's level seven. You get that or something like that. But yeah, uh, yeah. Yarnum so, strikes count as magical for persons cool. over awesome. Yeah. Also, it's oh yeah. Also, it's through the magic tattoo too. Yeah. Also, uh, so that's twelve points of damage from the first one. Mm-hmm. And then uh, another seven plus. One, so seven bludgeoning, one force damage for a total of eight on the second. All right, anything else? Uh, you know what? Because I, I, because this is a fun thing that I've had used on me so many different times, Mm -hmm. uh, I'm absolutely going to do it. I'm going to spend one key point. Don't you dare. For a stunning strike. Okay, that's a con save. That is a DC 17 con save. I'm going to roll that on the table. Hopefully you all see it. Gotta roll like a nat one to fail that. Uh, 23. Okay. All right. We're trying. We're trying. Don't think so, yeah. she showed up. All right. So just. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Okay. I'm helping. I'm fighting. Okay. Anything else, Ricky? Nope. That'll be it. All right. Uh, he's gonna use another legendary action to do blinding radiance, and he's gonna point at Ricky. And I need Ricky oh, no. to make a DC 18 con save. Oh boy. Or sorry, this should be DC 17. Okay. Uh, that's within ten. That's within ten feet of coin, right? Yes. Okay, so an extra plus one on that. Yep. Uh, it doesn't matter. That is a. Uh, There's a thirteen. You're blinded for one minute. You can repeat the save at the end of each of your turns. Ah, ah, ah. So your eyes are swollen, and then this flash of radiant light just completely. Ah. <laughs> it's like shining a flashlight in your eyes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's gonna bring us to coin. Oh, all these darn moves. What do I? I'm going to attack uh, <laughs> within five feet. So that's Pack tactics. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yep. Rolling it. Uh, all right. How does the twenty-one taste? That tastes real good. Hits. Right on. Okay. Uh, and then. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's just do. Let's roll. Roll damage first. Boy, these dice rolls are so slow. I might just use my own dice just because it would be faster. Um, so that's 15, and I'm going to use a uh, third level smite, which I believe is what. F- well, it's riddle me this. What's this guy's flavor? Because he seems corrupt- to be giving out. He's a, necro- he's a corrupted celestial. Right. So radiant and necrotic. Right. He can do both. So he's I'll, also, I'll be nice, You're resi- he's resistant to both Radiant and Necrotic, because he's a Celestial. Right. Okay. He's a Planetar. 
He's a fallen planetar. Yeah, wow. yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, I almost don't know what that means. In the so slightest. celestial creatures, uh, they're usually pretty resistant to radiant, necrotic, that sort of stuff. For sure. He just so incorruptible. He's not undead. I'm just no, asking he's if still a, he's still a celestial, oh, okay. not an undead. Okay. Okay. Just trying to get a handle on that. I'm still going to use the thing I was going to yeah, use fair. anyway, which is third level smite, which is 4d8. Yep. Right. So and then that's fifteen plus the seven radiant damage, so half, so it's nineteen total on the first hit. Alright. <clears throat> and then second hit. Ugh. Twenty-eight. That definitely hits. <laughs> yeah. Um, use the level two smite. All right. Which will be. Give me those eights. I'll take it. Twenty. So ten. So seventeen. So twenty-seven total. Okay. That second cool. one. What did I say the first team was? first one was nineteen. Yep. The second one was uh twenty seven. Yep. So thirty six? No, yep. forty six. Forty six. Forty six. Yep. Anything else? Right on. Um bonus action. I'm going to cast oh shit, I should have cast that before. What's wrong with me? I'll say you did. Uh, Hunter's mark? Uh no. Oh, okay. Uh, shroud. I have it on here somewhere. It's the shroud one. Yeah, yeah. If you would have cast it before, then yeah, totally. You can do that right now, or whatever you need. I, said, I can't it. find it. God damn it! It's just uh, d6, and I would have chose cold damage. Sure. So roll. So it would have been two d6 of cold damage. Yep. Go for it. Because it would have been one plus each, I think. Yep. Uh, so seven cold damage. Okay. He does not seem resistant or immune to cold damage. Right on. Anything what? else? Uh, no, that's all I've got. Thank okay. you. Okay. Um, with all your like slashes, it does lower his speed because of it does reduce his speed by ten feet because of slasher. Uh, and you mm -hmm. do see where his blood is. It comes out kind of like glittering silver, and then it kind of has like t hints of like necrosis to it. Okay. Like it's cottage cheese silver. Yeah, drug. <laughs> He's he he's bleeding what the uh, what not the, a fan of that. He's metaphor. bleeding. He's bleeding what the androids from like the Alien series bleed, with like tinges of necrosis uh, to it. But uh, drunk, nice. your go. Uh. Also, be safe with the key. I will say this: anything on the map that's raised and not under the grid, that's cover. If people cool. need cover. Thank you. Stay safe, Ricky. Aims. Uh, sharpshooter, steady aim. Go for it. Crimson Art Crossbow. Yep. Of course. Every time I do sharpshooter, I roll below 10s on all of them. Anyway, do that's probably a miss. 17 to hit. 17 does miss. Yeah. Well, that was like, that was even, yeah, it was a 12 to hit, essentially. So, yeah, that's it. That's my turn. All right. Kenna. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Guardian of Nature on myself. Okay. Uh, to go into Great Tree Form. Mm -hmm. um, and then before I uh, take my action... Uh, I'm just gonna say uh, to my daddy. Um, <laughs> I say daddy so it doesn't hurt as much, okay? <laughs> Maybe your father, but he ain't your daddy. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> True. Uh, yeah, really, in. honestly, actually, very similar yeah. character that I'm thinking Vibe. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. All so right. Um, steals. May. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, hey. And I'm gonna just try to like get between him and Dax and Coin. Okay. Um, and say, 
Wait, is all right. Um, and just say, we don't need to get into this. It was an accident. We can talk this through. We don't have to do this. Okay. Use your action to make a persuasion. Oh wait, what's the spell you made? What's the? Uh, uh it was a bonus action. Um, cool. Persuasion check as an action then. Uh, persuasion. Yeah. Or deception. What if you're trying to, if you're trying to lie to him, that's a different story. Nah, I'm not gonna try to lie to a freaking celestial who gave me life. Uh, that's not great. <laughs> Why didn't I use D and D Beyond? Nine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 He doesn't seem like he's gonna harm you at all, though. He just looks down at you and just. Uh, then yeah, then in that case, I want to try to get. I want to try to block him from, like, basically give Coin and Dax cover. He's a, with my he's a large, he's a large creature, but okay. Uh, <laughs> anything else? Um. Uh, no, cause the check was my action. Yeah, yeah that's okay. that's all I got. Flits tumble pots. Oh man. <laughs> um. All right. Don't uh, forget about so... your necklace. Any time you cast a spell, it might have to I know. have a little spikes yeah. on it. <clears throat> yep. All right, so starting off nice and hot, um, as he's going to quicken spell, and as he's doing it, he's going to uh, he's going to kind of like gather up some wind, and uh, he's going to throw it forward, and as he does, it's going to take like a shape, uh, and he's going to cast Summon Fae. Uh, oh, ready next to coin so right to coins okay. right side and the appearance is flits but his ear is like long like one of the ears is long and droopy um <laughs> like an okay. over exaggerated like <clears throat> elf but like a little bit fatter and chubbier sure. uh his face is a little bit distorted and you can see these fangs that are coming to appear out and he has in his hand what appears to be like a large skinny knife uh Perfect. almost matching coin size his sword that he okay. has and he's snarling like it's frightening um Percentile but he, yep <laughs> yay <laughs> oh god i'm sorry drug if this is not good <laughs> okay oh no i just fucking failed it 34 34 just fails roll another d100 Shit. Shit. fireball <laughs> that's what i'm worried about uh that's an that's an eight eight Honestly, you fireball cast, is the that best. Is a you fireball. cast fireball as a third level spell centered on yourself. Uh, fireball so is the best thing. Twenty foot radius fireball right there. So oh, it hits literally everybody. Need... Yeah, it hits literally everybody people. except everybody him. but the angel. I need everybody to make dexterity mm -hmm. saving throws equal to Flitz's spell save DC. Uh, everybody so but funny. Flitz and Druck have a plus one to this save. <sighs> What's your spell save DC? Uh. Pretty high. Eighteen. Oh See, so was a dex save. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, by the way, sorry. I'm so sorry. I was looking at my sheet again. I should have only taken sixteen. I'm resistant to necrotic damage. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. No I apologize. I didn't see that. Okay. Um, <laughs> not I say this is not going to be good. Fuck yeah. So. Can... Oh. But I still failed it. I failed my own. Okay. So. so... Let me roll. I already rolled it. My face. Well, my face. Oh, hey, okay, your face has to do it too. It's the exact same as Flitz, which was higher, um, which was 22. So. Okay. So who all got below an 18? HP. Who all got below an 18? Flitz is just me? <laughs> just, Good fucking just job. Me. So Flitz, 27 fire damage. Fuck. Uh, Druck doesn't take any because of evasion. I don't, I don't take and other things. Yeah, Ricky, you don't take any piece of evasion. <laughs> I'm also blinded. I rolled with disadvantage, oh. so this is really cool. Nice. Uh, Ricky's just like, I sense it. So everybody else takes 13 fire damage. Coin, I believe you're resistant to fire. I am. You take six. So someone, <laughs> someone yelled, someone yelled, pull your socks up <clears throat> to him. So. You watch as you all see Flitz summon this fake creature, then just explode in a fireball. All right, what was the total damage again? Thirty-seven. Was that? that was I, I'll double check. It. It, it should be in the game log. Or twenty-seven. It was twenty-seven, then half was thirteen, then so 8. twenty-seven. Twenty-seven fire damage to Flitz. 
and uh fuck yeah those crates <laughs> yeah. i'm catching the house on fire sorry uh there's a big hole in the ceiling too we'll say just uh flits and a panic is gonna run wow. 5 10 15 how'd the, how'd the 20 uh what how'd your face spirit do thing he has he has 40 total so okay, he has cool. all right uh 5 10 15 20 uh this is a table <laughs> i imagine or is this uh, a box yeah that's a, that's a big table okay uh so he can just duck underneath he it he can go right under it 20 25 for you to, uh, i would say for you to be under 30? it you will have to go prone to go under the table oh okay uh uh how tall are you like two foot how tall are you no no, no three. i'm three four three four. Three, four. three four you can just walk under the table Okay, okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, Your head's 25, like scraping the top, 30. The top of the underside. Perfect. So he just is going to, as far as, I'm sorry, he's going to yell out to everybody, um, but he's going to try to focus his attention again. And he's going to, in um, in Gnomish, he's going to yell out for his spirit to attack the green guy. Okay. Um, and he as he's doing that, he's going to grab three Eldritch Blasts and he's okay, going to cool. throw them. Because I did the quicken spell. Sounds good. Sounds good. Fireball. Uh, that is. Uh, dirty 20 for the first. Hits. 13 for the second. Hits. Uh, 25 for the third. Hits. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so for the first, he's going to take uh, 15 plus 4 thunder damage. Okay, he appears. He does not appear resistant to thunder, so he's, okay. that's good. Cool. Um, and for the second, it is a little bit worse. Uh, Fourteen force damage. Okay. Um, and I, I think that's that's gonna be it for him. Okay. So, oh, actually, because I did my no, that takes a bonus action. Come on. When does your, your fake creature go? right after me so it's it's okay. right around to me um so the fake creature is gonna like look at flits and nod and and he's gonna lick across the blade as he poof, teleports he's gonna face step as a bonus action cool um he is considered a fuming so he's a little angry ah. little thing mm -hmm. um so when he face steps he's gonna go right pretty much i can't move the dude but he's gonna go oh, yeah. i don't know if i can mark but he's gonna go uh four or three north and then one to the left so right should be right across from yep there you go um and he gets advantage on this first attack so Excellent. that is a i'm gonna just roll it's like my spell mm -hmm. attack so i'm just yep. gonna roll like my elders blast make it easy so for the first he gets two of these oh <laughs> it's a natural one. Oh wait i get advantage one second you do. i'm gonna roll again um that's a lot better so that's a 26 Six to that hit. Is. Oh yeah. Okay. And then for the second, that's a natural one. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, I brought it all back. Uh Excellent. so for him, that is gonna be I wish they made this shit easier. Um it is one D six plus three plus spell level plus a D six four so D six plus three plus spell level. So that is five plus three is eight plus four is 12 plus another d6 so that's piercing okay and then four force damage so how much damage total um okay five plus four or 12 plus four is okay. 16 cool 16. all right anything else that is gonna be it for him okay interesting all right uh Hmm. Yeah, he's going to do two scythe attacks, I think. Uh, the first on... Got ten foot reach. So, we're going to go for Dax on the first one. Hey. So this is a d20 plus 12. Uh, three plus twelve to hit fifteen. It doesn't hit. So he swings it at you, and misses. 
because he's getting like stabbed from behind by this weird little fey thing. Coin's kind of like in his face, slashing at him. Ken is there also getting in the way. Uh, second attack is going to go for Coin. So. Sentinel? Yeah, go for it. Yeah! <laughs> With that Titan's Tooth Claymore! Nope. 15. Misses. So I was going to go for Coin. So this plus 12. Uh, 22 to hit. I'm going to use my reaction to use my beauteous wings. Yep. So uh, the dragon aura blessing of the metallic Fuck. dragon. You're going. It's going to come down, and as it like is coming down and about to hit him, uh, a, a golden wing <laughs> comes out, looking very much like uh, uh, Yodelin's wings. Mm -hmm. Comes out and <laughs> just like parries it off to the side. Awesome. Fuck. All right. And just like, yeah, coin spinning around. Okay. All right. Fuck. Coin observes the wing and has a thought. Okay. Uh, Dax. Dax has a thought. I don't know if this is gonna end well. Um. Is the thought. <laughs> What's Dax doing? They are going to bonus action far step okay. and you just see these creepy ass shadow tentacles envelop Dax and they appear behind um, Thick Daddy. All right. And then they're going to to attack the Titan's Tooth Claymore, uh, mm -hmm. Great Weapons Master, uh, Reckless. Reckless. So, yeah, okay, yeah. advantage minus five. Third, 25. 25 hits. See you. <laughs> Into his back. <clears throat> so that's going to be... 26 yep. damage for the first one. Nice. And then for the second one, same thing. Mm-hmm. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Hits. Hits. So you to peer behind him and you slash into his back twice with this like a hundred and fifty pound sword. Just And that'll be twenty-nine damage. Alrighty. He's looking hurt with that. Anything else? Um He's bleeding just... profusely all over the place. <laughs> to get Dax stabbed. Dax just looking macho. Ma looking macho? Okay. Well, speaking Bend of that, then. Bending to the fucking death. Well, speaking of that, then. He's going to use his legendary action at the end of your turn if you're not doing anything else. Anything else? Uh, no, I did bonus action. I did my action. Okay. He's going to use his legendary action to do. Spend two legendary actions, because you can do that. Oh, shit. Legendary Bye, creature. guys! And he's going to spin around and grab Dax by the throat and use his recharging touch. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw, DC 18. And you Let the dice do be with not me. have a bonus, plus one bonus on this one. Let the dice be with me. Let the dice be with me. 24, bitch! Okay. Whoa. So yeah. he doesn't drain you of his vitality and use it to restore himself. Holy buckets. Holy buckets. But he does grab you on the throat and you can feel his grip tightening as he's trying to drain your vitality and then you shrug it off. Choke me harder, daddy. And moving on, Ricky. <clears throat> oh boy. Uh, question: Is Dax? Come still... on, you set yourself up for that, Justin. <laughs> I guess. Is Dax still being grappled, or you don't know? You're do blinded. You him... Oh crap! That's right. <laughs> 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 At the end of your turn, you can make the con save again and end it. Yeah, just, it's like uh... a flash of like radiant light. You're just like, oh. Yep. Yep. Um. Oh boy. Ricky's eyes are having a bad time. I mean, I don't mean to. It's dangerous. See, I just watched ready. the delay on the Twitch screen, and at the same time, uh, Flitz and I, we both, I put my hand over my mouth, and he put his hand over his eyes. <laughs> we just need one person to put their hand over their ears. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. 
gone fucked. Uh, I guess Ricky will just make two attacks at disadvantage in the direction that he was attacking sure, go before. For it. Um, just, just. Ah! <clears throat> yep. Fair. <laughs> All right. Disadvantage. That's an eighteen. That hit. Oh, it just misses. Okay. So second attack is with disadvantage of 17. Okay, so those of you who aren't blind, you yeah. see his wings kind of furled behind him, or his wings are behind him, currently, because he's facing the opposite way. So the wings kind of block both, just poof, poof. Okay. All right, and then, and, uh... And your turn, DC 18 con save. If I'm trying to think if I have a bonus action I'm going to try, but I don't think so. Step so of the wind. Save. Yeah, in a direction I can't see. <laughs> uh, just spreads into a wall. Mm -hmm. Hide in a crate. Crawl into a crate. That is a 60 plus coin. 17 on the con save. So blinded, unfortunately. Oh my god, ah. I have a plus two. I'm going to be blinded this whole fight. <laughs> Might be good. <laughs> ah. I don't want to see this. Yeah. Uh, end of your turn, he's going to use his final legendary act. Oh no, I gave him four. Uh, he's going to use legendary oh. action to do a great scythe attack, and he's going to swing the great scythe. He's going to spin around, wings block, he's going to spin, and with that momentum, he's going to slash into coin. No, nah, he's gonna slash into Dax because Dax just fucking dummied him a bit and resisted his choke. Team top, baby. This is why he's attacking you. <laughs> wow, two plus two, okay, two okay. plus twelve, fourteen to hit. He does not like what you're Doesn't saying to him. He's kept him off guard. Br Brittany, oh, you're doing. Wait, that was with I advantage. Got it to a heart. Oh right, I that. forgot. Adva Thank you, oh. Sam. That's with advantage. <laughs> No, Brittany, you're doing a great job as a barbarian doing what you're doing. Keep doing it. I forgot. That's what advantage. <laughs> Sam reminded me. Uh, 9 plus right. 12, 21 to hit. That hits. Okay, cool. So you're going to half this first thing I tell you. Okay. Because you're raging. Mm-hmm. You don't have the necrotic, though, I don't believe. Nope. Okay. So you take... 17 slashing damage reduced in half to 8. 8. And then the necrotic damage. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, 26. Ooh. I would like to stones endurance that. Go for it. I think, that's Look just, at I think me. That'll, that'll reduce the whole attack, though, not just the necrotic. Yeah, just the damage yeah. in general. So the entire day, the total damage you took, we're just gonna you're just gonna cut that all down. Yeah. That's okay. Good. Yeah. So it's okay, it's a D twelve plus four, roll a D twelve. Mm-hmm. Five, so nine total. Okay, so what was the necrotic that it was? Uh twenty six. I already six. I already fucked around with the other one, twenty six. Twenty six minus nine is eighteen? No. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. So you take 50 instead. Boom. All right. Uh, that was his legendary action that, you know, did stuff. Uh, that's Ricky Coin. Uh, so Coin, seeing everything, seeing the wing come off, it, he's going to follow the eye line of the wing and see Kenna and realize this is not great. Mm-hmm. Um, he's going to lay his sword across his arms and like put his hands together and look at address the demon directly and so I've recently learned that families play games together and it seems you don't know what families truly are but this is my family and our game is Oyster Bowl uh, then he's going to cast with that it's a, a, ra a, a warm radiant sphere mm -hmm. it's going to start around him and little halos of oysters are going to go <laughs> around all of the party members okay. uh, and uh, I'm going to cast out of my sword yeah. I'm going to cast holy aura yeah you are. so everyone uh, the creatures of my choice which within 30 feet of me a 30 foot radius which is everyone um You'll now uh, have advantage on all saving throws. Yes. And other creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls 
against us until the spell ends. In addition, mm -hmm. when a fiend or undead hits and the creature is attacking melee, the aura flashes with brilliant light. Oh, okay. So there are no fiend or undead, so that second part kind of is yeah. moot. But then, yes, yeah, so a halo of oysters appears around all of my family. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And now you all have uh, advantage on saving throws, and this fool has disadvantage on yep. every attack against and you. And that is an eighth level nice. spell. That Damn. is an eighth level Oof. spell in that thing. And that also is my action. So it I'm is a reminder, it does, it does require concentration. Yes. So so then uh, Yodelin melts away mm -hmm. as the halos appear over all of your heads. And uh, my bonus action is going, is Yodelin is going to put a hand on my shoulder and then melt away. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to get a second level spell back uh, from Harness, yeah. Harness Divine Power. And just so everybody knows, that is a 30 foot rate, soft radiance that's floating around coin. As long as you stay within 30 feet of coin, you have those benefits. But no attacks yeah. from me. Sorry, friends. That's, no a, good, that's a good use. That's a good use Please. for this fight. Cool. I thought it saving throws, yeah. Yeah. All saving yeah, yeah, throws yeah. have advantage and yeah. all throws attacks have. against us uh disadvantage. Are at disadvantage. That's great. Anything else, Coin? Uh I uh action, bonus action. Uh my uh reaction is recharged now. Yeah. I'm saying it out loud so I don't yeah. forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. End of your turn that's what happens. Or start of your turn that's what happens. Nope. Uh cool. Uh, he I forgot he I gave this guy four because he was gonna be a big one. Uh, he's gonna do another legendary action, so this would be his fourth one before it restarts at the end of his turn, and he's gonna look around to see who he deems a threat. <laughs> Coin, he thinks Coin might be a little bit of a threat here, uh, yeah, but also he thinks Dax is also a pretty big threat too. So I'm gonna roll a d6 for it and pick. Okay. Uh, he's gonna use his blinding radiance on Dax, but it's gonna be different this time. Instead of pointing a finger, you watch his eyes open up all over his body like the biblical angels. The description nice. of them covered in eyes just... They wetly open and like start looking around in all directions. And then they all flash with this brilliant radiance. And he dax to make a constitution saving throw. DC 18 with advantage. Plus... Not plus one, just with advantage. Advantage? Yeah, advantage on the con save because of uh, the holy aura. You're in, you're in 30 feet of me. No, Dad. 15. 15 with advantage. You're blinded for one minute. Can repeat the save at the end of each of your turns. You're currently blinded, so. Blinded, but he's got me the chokehold, so I know he's in front of yeah, me. Yeah, but well, yeah. He, he's, he stopped doing that. He went to doing. He went to see. Went to do the scythe stuff now. So he's not choking me anymore. He's scythe stuff. But yeah, boom, Druck. Uh, I'm gonna try it again. Uh, mm -hmm. sharpshooter. Uh, and uh, steady aim. Go for it. Stand still. Come on. Of course. Nope. Nothing. No. That's a oh. ten. <laughs> You're rolling with advantage, right? right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I uh, the my first one it was a uh, a f I think a four oh, and a seven, and then this one was a four and a Has five. Has it worked for you yet? Uh, I I think oh, only once, once oh, it has. And I think so it was sharp once shooter, against Dax. Yeah. Sharpshooter, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. The sharpshooter just hasn't been hasn't That's been nice. working for me. Every time I've announced it, yeah, just maybe don't never. So the, the dice, yeah, the dice just no. I've announced uh, it, and they're like, all right, Fuck up. All right. It's like when you're rush, you're So that's your to turn, right? Her. Action bonus action. Oh yeah, that's yeah. everything. Kana. And I I sacrifice my bonus yeah. action and movement when I set aim. All right, Kenna. All right, um, I'm going to drop concentration on Guardian of Nature, mm -hmm. and I'm going to attempt to upcast Phantasmal Killer. Oh, fuck. Him. Okay. Uh, so Wisdom Saving Throw at disadvantage. Because DC of your, your crystal? Yeah. Because yeah, of my crystal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll tell you what he's scared of, because I think that's... <laughs> I, I, I want you to know what it is because it they have it, his fears manifest visible only yeah. to him ah uh, bummer oh well yeah. okay uh let me pull up his stuff and I said hey yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. that's what he sees so 
damage. He'll take the psychic damage, but he's immune to the frightened condition if he fails. He's like immune to frightened. He's, okay. He's a slow spell, but uh, he'll yeah. still take the psychic damage, obviously. So he's not scared of anything. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna roll that on the table. It's a con save, right? Or was it? Uh, wisdom. wisdom. At with disadvantage. disadvantage. Okay. Show that to everybody with disadvantage. Roll. My heart is racing. I uh, want this to. It was a nat twenty and a nineteen. So it's no! 30 with disadvantage. Oh, oh my god. My. Damn it. Uh, does he take half damage at least? Um, nope. Oh, no, yeah, it's really a saver suck. It's a save, and then on every turn, it's like, poof, poof, Yeah. It melts. On a successful ah, save, the spell ends. Yeah. <sighs> it doesn't even take hold, unfortunately. Oh. Planet Damn. Planet doors, planet doors are cool. I was going to make him, like, freaking see the full yeah. house again. Fuck! Well, anything else? Um, let me just overlook my bonus actions. Um, I don't. All my bonus actions are actual spells. Um. Yeah. Could I? Could I kick him in the shin like a, a grumpy toddler? Yeah, who go wants for a snack? it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> On our strike. Yeah. Hell yeah! At advantage. <laughs> Why with, advantage? Advantage? Why with advantage? Because of coins thing. No, that's only... Uh, no, that's just saving throws. That's just saving throws. Oh, he gets disadvantage on attacks. Uh, well, the first one... What was the first one? The first one was a dirty 20. So he takes three bludgeoning damages. I he doesn't take any. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, he takes hey, one. He you, takes one. He's when you persistent. said that, <laughs> King, it's like a toddler. I just snorted my chips, and now I have Dijon mustard in my nose, and I'm dying. Yum. Oh, that's the worst. Oh. Uh, anything else, Kenna? Uh, nah. Flitz tumble pots. Oh, Who's boy. looking the worst out of the group? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Singed a bit. Um, uh, you have no eyebrows. Is... Oh, God, don't say it's that. Um, Stop it! The fireballs cast on yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Flitz is going to take five feet, but he's going to clamber up the table. Okay. He'll, he'll use his full movement to get on top of the table. Yeah, um, it would be, it'd be happy when you get up on the table, but sure. Perfect. Um, he's going to look around the room really quick. Uh, the table's really he's dusty, going... so you got little footprints in it. Perfect. Uh, the shattered right across the way from him, that what looks like another table yeah, that's like a, broken. Yeah, definitely it's a broken up part table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like that large corner piece. He's yeah. going to focus on that and the wind is going to pick Catapult. up and it's going to start like almost like uh, a Jedi Forest mind trick. Yeah. He's going to quicken spell a catapult and he's going to pull it, but not in a way that if it misses, it goes to him. He mm -hmm. wants it in like a almost upward direction so that it'll clip like shoulder up. Okay. Uh, so it's a DC 18 dexterity saving throw. Okay for me i'll roll that on the table because this is a dangerous dude uh this is just flat right because of holy aura he doesn't get advantage or disadvantage on he doesn't get disadvantage on saves i don't think he does we'll just say flat for now uh dex 18 <sighs> okay um just saves so uh catches it Ooh. um that oof, that oof. true sight helps for celestials. They can see just mm -hmm. everything. Just <sighs> seeing if there's anything I could do to change that. Uh, that is it. That's why I'm really um, that's why I'm really his true sight. It's just all the eyes that open up and see. Like, yeah, that's what I was gonna Ooh. say. I hate it so much. Um, all right, but he's gonna do another round oh, of grab I also bits need of air. Percentile Go ahead. dice because he cast catapult. Yes, 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 yes. You're right. You're right. Uh, that's a 78, though. Okay, nothing happens. Uh, so I'll do a three Eldritch Blast. Go for um, it. Boom, boom, boom. That's a natural 20 on the first. Nice. So that is, I'll roll that on first. So that is yeah. mm, 16 plus four Thunder Damage. So 20. Yep. Uh, that's not terrible. For the second, that is 22 to hit. Oh, yeah. For the third, that is 21 to hit. That hits, all three hit. Okay. Uh, yeah. That is 13 force. Okay. And seven force. Sounds good. Um, Ooh, boy. Those are the first time they've all three hit. <laughs> um, and he will tell him, he's going to tell uh, Faye Flitz to yeah. keep attacking. Go for it. And he's going to turn around. And his attacks and are magical going because to... Faye Flitz is magical, right? Because he has a spell, yeah. technically? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, he's going to. Uh, 
savoring the blood. He's going to lick the actual blood off and he's going to go a little crazy and he's going to look up at the corner, like over, like right at uh, Kenneth's corner. Like, mm-hmm. and he's going to appear in the air. And as he's coming down, he's going to just take a take a strike. So he's going to do, how he can take some damage on his Yeah, uh, do it. That. So that is going to be, and I'm going to roll my ultra blast again because that just was convenient. First one should have been advantage. One second, I'll re-roll that. Mm-hmm. That's a natural twenty. Wow. Um, <laughs> so, so I'll re-roll his. I'll do a second one mm-hmm. for a twenty-six. So both oh, hit. Yeah. 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 Um, so for the first, sorry, this is going to be a lot of dice rolls for this one. Yeah. Uh, one d six plus three plus spell level. Okay, so it's two d six plus three plus spell level. Uh, four plus three is seven plus spell level is another four, which is eleven for the okay. first. And for the second, it's oh, sorry for this is force, um, and then an additional three on top of that. So four plus three is seven yep. plus four, eleven plus three four is fourteen. Okay. And for the second strike, it's just a lot of complicated dice rolls that make you do for this. Four plus three is seven plus another four is eleven. Same thing. Yep. Uh, plus a another d six, which is two. So two force damage addition. All right. He's looking pretty hurt after that. Just stab. And he's, stab, stab, stab. yeah. He would have gone up enough to where he could have gotten like at the face or mm-hmm. shoulders, and he would have fell at the corner at, at Kenna's left there, taking right, cool. damage. If you want to throw some damage nah. on him. Okay. Anything else? That is it for us. All right. Start of his turn, he's gonna start like lifting his hands like the Night King does in Game of Thrones. Oh no! <laughs> he's gonna cast Reverse Gravity. Oh dear! I need fifty foot radius. I need everybody, all creatures and objects that aren't anchored to the ground fall upwards. Now, for flying creatures, if you're not flying, if you're not in flight, you still fall. I looked up the rules for flying creatures and falling yesterday. Uh, so you all need to make. Hold on, how does this work? Uh, versus gravity in a 50 foot radius 100 foot high cylinder centered on a point within range all creatures and objects that aren't somehow anchored to the ground in the area fall upward and reach the top of the area when you cast a spell so uh, that creature... also includes him then correct not him uh, a creature can make dexterity saving throw to grab onto a fixed object it can reach so based on the map flits the table's not going to be fixed uh, Druck the, box. Oh, the wall Druck the wall you can try to grab onto the wall so Druck you can make a dex save everybody else uh, oh. hits the ceiling <laughs> Flits, Flits kind of go grab the table and he realizes that the table's coming with him. <laughs> so if a somewhat tall up such as ceiling is encountered in this fall, falling objects and creatures strike it just as they would during a normal downward. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Why and couldn't right I do that for of, anything uh, else? Um... That's so fucking dumb. So <laughs> you said for me to roll a deck save. Mm-hmm. I rolled two natural 20s. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. You do we all we all don't roll a deck save no nope. right? only if you're with something you can grab us like fix oh oops my bad yeah so it's the cloak of arachnida no that doesn't adhere you to surfaces that just lets you walk mm-hmm. on surfaces it doesn't adhere, it doesn't like stick you to a surface otherwise it would say so okay. in the object item if it, if it did uh so everybody but druck because druck's holding onto the wall as everything flips uh can i hold on to him <laughs> no uh, oh yeah, Fair. <laughs> daddy. Yeah. No. Uh, so everyone, t- everyone, everyone takes five bludgeoning damage aside from Druk and are knocked prone. How many? Sorry. Five. Oh. And flips the table like lands on top of you. Wait. So are are they prone yes. on the ceiling? Yes. The, the entire room. Yeah, oh. they're prone up on the ceiling. Druk, you're holding onto the wall. Otherwise, you'll fall up to the ceiling. Uh, Great. So everyone's prone up on the ceiling, but just for simplicity's sake, the room is just flipped. Mm-hmm. So just imagine and, the room being flipped. And how tall is the ceiling? Uh, ten feet. So it's ten feet from okay. the ceiling to the floor. Uh, okay. He's kind of like touching. Uh, that's yeah. why he also didn't have to like make any saves because he's twelve feet tall. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, everyone's prone but Druk. Uh, slow fall. Yeah. So, does slow, if you reduce the damage to zero with slow fall, do you not go prone? You still fall, but no. Yeah, if we'll say you don't go prone. Mm. Okay, so just just whoop. cool. That's so disorienting. You're also being yeah. completely yeah. blind. Uh, blinded, yeah. yeah, your feet oh, just automatically uh, cool. go. So he does that. Do it. Little kitty. Sight. <laughs> yeah. So that's what happens. So everybody but 
<laughs> Druck and Ricky are not friends, but Druck is holding onto the uh, the wall on this. Yeah, post. and the, and therefore I can't do any you don't attacks. You have to be both hands so. to hold on to your fall. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Can't do any attacks. Uh, that's his action to do reverse gravity. And he seems like he's focusing on it. His hands are like focused. He's like doing this, to, like maintain it. Uh, Dax, you're prone. Oh, coin. Uh, concentration check for uh, Holy Aura because you took falling damage. Great. DC 10. Uh, for uh, just a concentration roll? Yes, yeah, so a constitution saving throw. DC With 10. advantage. With advantage, <laughs> DC 10. <laughs> plus one. With advantage, DC 10 plus one. Yep. All right, so that is uh, 14 total. Holy Aura is still up. And it's Dax's turn. So, Dax, you're prone. Everybody's prone, but Druck and Ricky. Gonna stand up, obviously. Okay, half movement. Half movement. Um. He said he's like. With our weapon, because it's five foot reach, and he said he's a tall boy. Yeah, he's 12 feet tall. So, I'd, we'd be able to, like, hit him with our weapons like this? Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't even okay. need to be like this. If he's 12 feet tall, he goes full floor to yeah, ceiling. He's floor to so ceiling, like... so, yeah. He's just okay, facing so you upside down. Yeah. His head is at your feet. <laughs> this just got so fucky. I love it. Um, That's why he didn't fall, because he really can't. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's just doing a headstand, basically. Yeah, he's basically doing a handstand. Because he's going like this to hold the spell, so he's like, handstand. Fucking breakdancing, Daddy. Let's do <laughs> then go it. Go for it. Uh, I am going to... Uh, so reminder, if, he master... drops, if he loses concentration on reverse gravity, everybody falls again. <laughs> mm-hmm. Raging, we're good. So, <laughs> we're gonna go reckless, great weapon master. Okay, so go for it. Advantage, minus five. Uh, Come on, dice gods, be with me. 28 minus five. 23. Yeah, he hits. Yep. So that will be 24 plus three. 27. What? You rolled 14 for damage. Plus ten oh, from right. the twenty-seven. Yeah, and right. then the three. So that, and then same thing with the second attack. Mm-hmm. Oh, natural twenty <laughs> for a thirty-one, and, and minus I five. have minus five. But natural twenty is always hit, so. <laughs> and I have brutal critical. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, I haven't, I haven't never used brutal critical. Yeah, okay, so you okay, just okay, rolled, okay, It's okay, just okay. additional uh, damage dice. And his okay. head is right there. <laughs> we'll see what happens. She just rolled okay. dice, yeah. So. Okay, okay, okay. So for the crit, okay, so. I. I have the damage, and then I times it by two. If you want, yeah. Okay, so. But I do I add the plus ten twice or once? No, just once. Once, yeah. Okay, Cause, cause it's so not dice. Only dice gets doubled. Okay, so twenty-four plus ten is 34. thirty-four. Plus, your plus my rage. Thirty-seven. Is three. 30, Thirty-seven plus the extra damage dice. Damage. Yeah. Dice. So roll so that. That's gonna be roll that once. So that's gonna be two d six. Whatever the weapon is. Yes. Yeah. So two d six. <laughs> Plus an extra 10. So what's the total? 47. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Dax, how do you want to do what this? What is 47? Yeah, hey. Dax. Woo! Dax! Whoa, the big hitter, Slugger, coming in. Just, uh. whis- just whisper to him, bite the curb. How do you want to do this? Uh, Dax is... Uh, coming like jumping down by his neck and as they go to stab them right between where they're does he he has like these black wings correct yeah made a bone stab right between the wings and just whispers in their ear you should have choked me harder daddy and Ugh. just right through <laughs> he turns to kenna as he's dying and says i guess you'll never find your answers and explodes in a burst of radiant light. I need Dax to make a constitution saving throw. DC 22. Still advantage, though. Yes. 
Oh, and we're all gonna fall to the ground. Yeah, you all fall to the ground. 24. <laughs> okay, so you'll half this damage. This is magical damage, by the way. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. You take half of 72 radiant damage. 36. 30, 36. And then everybody... Druk, you can make another deck save. Because the room's flipping again because concentration ended all the spell. Oh. <laughs> That's... Yeah, I okay. <laughs> Everybody takes seven bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Oof. Ow. And Except for me. Wait, I thought the room is only ten it's, feet tall. Yeah, two d six. Oh, it should be one. Per six bludgeoning feet? damage. Yeah. Okay. This one I actually take because it takes a reaction to do slow fall, yeah, so and six. I, I haven't moved <laughs> back around my turn yet. So everybody takes six bludgeoning damage, except for Druk, and then this celestial figure explodes. And that is the encounter. And just feathers. This is like laying on the table. And just feathers fall, and they just immediately start to like wilt. Is everyone all right? Anna, are you okay? They're just staring at the place where their father once stood silently. Gwen is going to float up and put a hand on their shoulder. Mm -hmm. So you just hear the soft beat of wings just to stay at that height. Just keep the hand there. Sorry, I, <clears throat> I I think I need some air. Uh, and I'm gonna get Wait. up and start leaving. Wait, okay. hold on. She said that she could uh, cause those creatures to go away, but yeah, he you said think a they lot would of go things. Go away on their own accord. Okay, well, I'm, if you don't mind, I'll I'll be I'll go with you, just in case, unless don't sorry <clears throat> Ricky at this point you can probably just yeah, like a minute goes by. Ricky's oh, just Dax, all of your attacks should have been a disadvantage because you were blinded would they been would they been flat though yeah. instead ah bummer oh well uh yeah Ricky is just laying on his back on the ground blind for a minute and then he was vegetative eventually comes to and he's like did we win <laughs> You can just see feathers like wilting yeah. on the ground. Depends on your definition of winning, Ricky. But well, I'm interested in what Kenna's up to. Kenna, what are you doing? Um, I'm I'm going back up to the first floor, um, mm -hmm. and I want to look out the window, make sure there's none of the go the creepy goons outside. You don't see any, and the blizzard stopped. Okay. Um, can I open the front door? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go out the front door, probably run to the nearest pine tree. Okay, uh, as you do go outside, you do see Oswell. He did not get too far into the forest because the creatures that were outside got to him. So he's laying dead face down in the snow. Oh, he's dead? He's been dead way more than a minute, too. Cool. Um, I'm gonna barely keep in the nausea. Uh... Then look up at the sky. Um, and in an out loud prayer to Bahamut, um, I'm just going to say, sorry, I'm trying to go through the wording in my head. No worries. Um, If you're the god of uh, judgment and all that, why couldn't you judge our Mathen's choices? Why couldn't you judge the condemner? Why put all of us through what he put us through? Why not give a warning when you could? A 
As a matter of fact, I open this up to any celestial who still has a heart in this cruel world. Make a persuasion check with advantage. No, my real deaths have been fucking me over. Let's go do and be beyond. Um, persuasion? Yeah, with advantage. Natural 20. For a total of? 21. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck yes. Yes. Okay, cool. The give dice me, tell give a me, story. Give me a second um, as I figure out something cool. Okay. Because you kind of hit, kind of just hit the head on a theme I've been trying to, like, the whole theme of what's going on, and it's great. Okay. Like, if you need a break to... Oh, no, I got together. it. Oh, okay. I got it. You know what? Yeah. We're going to go to a break. Yeah. It's yeah. about time to right? And uh, yeah. we'll be back in 10 I minutes. Will I Will I figure <laughs> out what to do with this? Yeah, we'll be back here in 10 minutes, everybody, so...
Cimmerillion, oh my goodness. All right, so, Tenna's father, Angel Man, dead. Nobody Tenna liked him. Ran outside, screamed at the gods, called them all assholes, basically. Basically, yeah, in a nutshell. And uh, as you're sitting there, you can smell the smell of ozone, kind of like burning electricity, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you watch, a, you watch as a small peal of lightning soundlessly strikes the corpse of Oswell, who's lying maybe a few feet away, who sits upright, looks around, and then walks toward you, apparently restored to life. However, the eyes are vast, pools of vast night, twinkling with what can only be described as a kaleidoscope of color. Kenna Pishan. I owe you a great deal. So how may I be of service? I'm and also, kind of, you look around, and it looks like time has stopped. I'm sorry, who are you? I don't have a name, but I believe people call me The Weave. Oh, you're cool. I don't know what cool is. Uh, I, it colloquially it means like you're a good person or and or being to have like in a group setting. I don't know if I'm good. Uh, you called for me. Well, I was yelling up at the gods, but you came instead. It would seem, yes. So are, like, are you a god? Unsure. I was imprisoned, and you and your friends saved me. I mean, it was mostly then, but yeah, we helped. So I owe you a great deal. How may I be of service? Do you have any questions? I have answers. Some. Some. I mean, I, I, I guess. Uh, sorry, this is a little, uh, a lot. It's strange uh, for me as well. Cool, 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 cool. Um, uh, let's start off with why. Why? Just general why. 
Why what? And just remind uh, everybody else, the time is frozen, but you don't really recognize the time's frozen. Uh, why me? Why was I different from everybody else? In terms of what? In terms of Why was I different from my siblings? Why was I the one who was able to stand up to him? I don't know if I can answer that. Maybe you were more powerful. You have the weave about you. And gestures to the crystal on your person. This? That might be part of it. So if I didn't have this, I could have just been eaten like the rest of them? Not necessarily. There's more about it. I can see things that haven't formed yet. But can't place them. Well, that's not ominous. It doesn't feel ominous. It's a more of a turn of phrase where it's like something someone says sounds creepy and foreboding, but you reply sarcastically that it doesn't. Sorry, I'm getting into semantics that you don't care about because uh, you're literally mm -hmm. the embodiment of magic in the planet. That's cool. Um, I don't know if that's right. The gods have control over their own domains. There's a god of life who controls life. There's a god of death who controls death. And you're the god of magic who controls magic? That's why I was imprisoned. By our Mathenin. Do you know why he imprisoned you? He got what he needed. So he just locked it away for everyone else? In a sense. But then he told people a great lie. I'm beginning to get the sense that our math name was uh, not a great guy where he comes from. Him and his twin brother caused havoc for eons, created a parasitic entity who he grew afraid of and imprisoned in the moon. So perhaps. So what my father was saying about him was right? Your father? The, the kind of memory, the, the thing that basically created me or made it possible so that I could be here. Did he echo these same sentiments? Thoughts? Some of them, yeah. Then he might have had a kernel, a sliver of the truth. What about Ben? The one okay? who restored me? Yeah. He died a few weeks back. And he worshipped our math then. Apparently he's up there fixed in heaven or something. He's not with our math then. He's with... What should be. What should have been. That makes me feel a little better. Um, is, is there a way for me to bring my mom back? There's magic. 
There are ways. I can help you. What's your price? <sighs> Set things right. Find out what? what's going on, why I came back now. There's a gap in my memories. Things are strange. I don't have the whole picture. Help paint it for me. Seems impossible enough. It might be. And there might not be any answers to be found, but I owe you and your friends a great deal. I feel like I've been real shitty to them lately. You've been going through traumatic times, you all have. probably gonna get worse before it gets any better most likely can I call on you in the future there could be a way we'll have to work on it I'm new to this I've never spoken with a mortal before I've never spoken with a god. Then I guess we're both on the same sort of page. Yeah. I should probably get back to them. They don't know much about what's happened. So, little hard to tell them what was going on when you're being threatened around every corner that is fair and true I'll keep an eye and if I can find a way to commune with you more I will Same these. Sorry, I'm real nervous. This is all new for both of us, and I just, you know, blurted out. Seem it means, yeah. I'll I'll uh, keep in touch if I can. Okay. All right. Um. May I see your crystal? Uh, yeah, uh, I kind of fumble with it a little bit before I hand it over to them. Okay. We'll speak soon, I feel. Uh, can I, can I get that back when you're done with it? Uh, you see the kaleidoscope of colors, like, kind of floats out of the eyes and goes into the crystal, and Oswald's body just kind of... <laughs> and then the like... time stop ends. <laughs> So my crystal's just on the ground now, in the snow? It's or floating. Is it gone? It's floating. And it just floats back into your hands. I might message you something. I just met magic? And I puke in the snow now. Okay, cool. And then head back inside. I'm trying to head back into the foyer and sure. like wipe my mouth. Good. Uh, no, so I'm was, sure, Ricky, you, there's, there's got to be hot chocolate around here somewhere, and I know we are going to find it. I was wondering if you could maybe boost me to a cupboard. You're muted. You're muted. Oh, no, he can't talk anymore. He's blinded and he can't speak. <laughs> He's blinded and mute. <laughs> can he hear no, I us? See, Ricky. I can see again. I can see again. Sorry. Uh, I was Ricky, just going to say... Ricky, speak up! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, no, Ricky was saying, yeah, no, I'll help you with that in a second. I just, the floor is very comforting right now after everything that just happened. I just, uh, just you know, lay down seems nice, but yeah, I'll definitely help you get some chocolate. Chocolate sounds nice. I do like chocolate. I want to, I, I want to cast Lesser Restoration on Ricky. The blindness <laughs> ended after a Yeah, the blindness is gone. Uh, I, is there a way I can perhaps reduce the puffiness in his eyes? No. With Lesser Restoration? No. 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 Lesser Restoration is more for like conditions and stuff. This isn't a condition, yeah. it's just... Oh, something. Uh, okay. That's fair. Okay. Ah, you know what, yeah, fair. that makes sense. You can do it, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Half, half a dozen, one, six, the other. I was, I was trying to just use a spell slot to make this goon with us, maybe, like... Yeah, you're basically just erasing pink eye, but not pink eye. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting rid of that conjunctivitis. Yeah. Also, our chronicler is blind. What a Yeah, bummer. true. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, you, Ricky, you feel your eyes... Oh, that feels better. It's like shrink down from being swelled and they moisten again. That's nice. Oh, thank you. Because <laughs> they were getting real dry and crusty from just you know that's what mm -hmm. happens when you don't blink for a long time. Well, um, he, I, he remember he was he was splashing that, water. I don't in, think that would help. <laughs> it's a, it's a very bare minimum of what you're. Yeah, what you're, yeah. What you're, you're actually, 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 do. actually do. Like you just have to throw water. You really, you'd still like reflect. You'd reflexively like. Right. Yeah. Um, but Gremlin, Gremlin Flitz has put the butcher, the skinning knife away, and it's like hobbled over to Flitz, who's like laid out. Because mm -hmm. Summon Fade lasts for an hour, and he like picks them up, like dusts them off. But he looks fucking wild. He looks like a hot ass mess, this fey creature. Bites on your finger, but not like, yeah, you know, like sure. just chomps on it. <sighs> The, the this guy looks like uh uh that freaking dude in my head because of these like half half uh yeah it's like weird teeth yeah it's like that it's like that dude from slither when he's like partially oh, yeah. transformed yeah, so, like, yeah, yeah half yeah. his face is like got the fucking um, he's like weird bulgy bulgy but, like skins and such but yeah but because of the shenanigans of time stuff ken would probably come back at this point okay. all right Kind of, uh, you, mm, yeah. You, uh, wait, you, all right? That was quick. Why you seem you okay? different? Um. Yeah. Um. So I just had a chat, you know, um, with the weave. What do you mean? Like, you were just gone for, like, a few seconds. Not even. Uh, well, they... They embodied Osman. Um... Os Oswald? Oswald, yeah. Sorry, it's it was a lot. <laughs> um, and then froze time. And then we... Talked about the state of the world? Anna, I, I, I'm, I'm asked. I'm, I'm gonna ask this. Did you, uh, accidentally sniff any euphoric dust by chance? I'm just. Um. Yeah, I mean, I know that these, this whole thing has been kind of rough. Make an insight check. Um. Yeah, Druck would probably. Yeah, insight check. Because Druck is just like. It was a latent acid. She, she was. She was. Yeah, she was like. <laughs> she's like. She like uh -huh. went and took a bump without Druk, and so he's, now he's feeling a little offended. How fucking dare Insight you! Insight checks. <laughs> For everyone, we'll say. I, I I don't think Ricky knows Ken yeah, well. Yeah, for us, it's fine. Yeah. I I don't think Coin just met them. So. Like, you know, in the temple in the temple of Bahamut, you know, when someone is testifying, you don't, you know, question them. Whatever they are they are saying, you know, is true to them. So we don't, you know. This seems we don't we don't use words like crazy or <laughs> go on drugs um, when someone is when someone yeah. is you know in their testimony because it is true yeah. to them. So. Yeah. The, yeah. To drug this seems fucking wild. What she's talking about, <laughs> or yeah. what they're talking about. Yeah. And also, and, yeah, and also to begin with, you know, through Bahamut, anything is possible. So go ahead and write that down. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Ken is uh, telling the point. truth. Ken is telling the truth. No lie whatsoever. Yeah. They spoke to the weave. Yep. 
So Yeah. Also, uh, in regards to our Mathlin, um, what they told me was that our Mathlin's a piece of shit, but Ven's not with our Mathlin. He's doing his own thing up in Mount Celestia. What our Mathlin should have been doing, apparently. Wait, so what do you, what do you mean, our Mathlin? What are, why are they bad? Uh, well, first of all, he locked away the weave because he... <sighs> he basically you know just like took all the power that he needed and then locked them away um wait so he wait so was our master a part of that ancient race yeah that built that city yeah and then he and his twin experimented and created Shiadan um and then locked them away in the moon, which we dealt with. And then in the process, we also released the weave from their prison. Uh, and so basically, that was them thanking us. Wait, but, so, hold on. <sighs> what the fuck? So the weave was around before our Bethlehem? And and was just enslaved by our methanin. Yeah, I probably should have asked more questions. Uh, kind of, based on what Druk's saying, that kind of sounds like what the uh, entity yeah. is describing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah. That sounds bad. That sounds like uh, when. Mm, this should, we should be careful bringing this up to Ven. Yeah, and let's not bring this up to my mother either. Where yeah. Is she? Oh, it's Yeah. The whole... The whole religion that worships our Mathman is all corrupt. Well, I mean... Like, that's just an like assumption, upper... when you think? Huh? That's like an assumption, when you think. I'd I mean, say at least like the higher ups oh. are all corrupt because our Mathnin himself is hot, is basically a corrupt figure. Yeah, but I think every god has gone through their chairs of uh, maybe not the best history of things. No, black, he's bad. Well, we, we haven't I mean, we I'm haven't actually seen, we, we haven't seen our Mathnin. We've just seen yeah. their followers, and we've seen well. Well, you had Ben, and he was a yes, follower. Exactly. Exactly. Those, let's say those executing the dog magic aspects were not the uh, most morally compassed. Uh, what, like the one that was part of Tiamat? Their brigade, I mean, that was, maybe that was Tiamat's influence negatively on someone who was higher up. Maybe our Mathenin is trying to make changes and adjustments to his tenets and his religion. I mean, I don't. I, I, he's been I, about as absent as Bahamut, but Bahamut got split into four tiny pieces and fit, could not literally do a thing. Our mm. Mathman's just been negligent. Listen, I, I truly, I want to be on mm. board with you, Kenna, and I support you being the mouth, and I will support whatever you are saying, and you've you know, in your testimony, you have spoken to the weave, and I support that. That is fantastic. But I think you misjudge the guy, and I will hold any personal judgment uh, for when I speak to Ven, because I felt a deep connection to Ven, and it, it appeared to me that his pure connection to Armathenon reflected my own with Bahamut and I hate to show my whole ass here but if Ven who I believe to be one of the most uh, kind and stalwart fellows I have met if he was to align himself with, with as you are saying a total shitbird uh 
then how am I to believe that I am also not some sort of easily corruptible fool? You know what I'm saying? Like you, uh, all faith is sort of built on a house of cards, and we take these giant leaps, and we are we build everything we know off of faith and belief in things and uh if we are sitting here telling one of you know saying one of our good friends is a big old ding dong for worshiping some kind of n nasty asshole then i think we should maybe take a second and figure out like i i i i, I I'm just saying, I think I should, I, I'd like to talk to Ven. I know, I don't think you're wrong. I just want to be as clear as possible. Sam, I sent but you something. This, I, am, I am personally getting very twisted up inside of my heart and guts and brain about what, I, I do not think it is a, uh, uh, a, a, a binary. You, you guys, do you understand? I feel like I, I stepped in. Coco's almost up. A Coco. I, I, I didn't want... I wasn't accusing Ben. Right. I, I'm saying I did not maybe he was you ignorant. Were. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I mean, there was a lot of history with our math. Mm. And, but that's with all the gods, is it not? Yeah, oh. but he said he did some fucked up shit though. Even before uh, there was a whole oh. church dedicated to him. Yeah, this you, is hard. If you if you find uh, if you decide to use uh, certain words, I would probably suggest uh, deceived or misinformed instead of ignorant, because uh, then he's probably the you know I don't. He's, he seems like a one that is in search of knowledge. Yeah. But enough about that. Are you, you left this building under what seemed like a duress, and then you came back in with all of this energy. He took me off guard, and so I've been on the, the 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 back foot, so to speak. Is everything all right? I mean, I know that you just had this big, crazy conversation with magic, uh, I guess. I mean, it wasn't too crazy. It was actually a fairly calm discussion about their existence and mine. That so it was an existential conversation. You could say that. It's... I'm not great about talking about myself. And... There's been a lot to happen within the last 24 hours. Tavern? Yeah, Tavern. Tavern. Even if it's peppermint whiskey, I'll take it. Ooh. It's been a while. Uh, Is this, there's a te peppermint? Yes. Uh... Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> peppermint schnapps all day. You put it in your chocolate. <laughs> Just a reminder, you were told that a lot of the town was kidnapped by flying entities and oh, taken to the mountains. Oh, fuck, we still got a job to do yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, they're taken to the mountains, so just a heads up. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, also, uh, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, talk to him. Ah, uh, did... The... I will be completely honest. Uh, I am not 100% sorry for killing that piece of shit sperm donor who is now feathers in the middle of the room. I will be completely honest because the person who raised you is your father. You might have been my father, but it'll <laughs> never be my daddy. Wow, what's up these stairs? Bahamut be praised. 
<laughs> uh, oh, Coco's ready. <laughs> Lots of mugs on a serving tray. Uh, uh, while they're having Coco, I want to go downstairs and take a feather. Um, just look at it a little bit. And then cast Produce Flame in my palm and just burn the feather. Okay. And then head back up. Uh, oh, uh, as I say it, I say, um, I no longer hold space for you and burn it. Cool. A coin. Uh oh. <laughs> He's enjoying Coin his cocoa really so much. Coin, Coin is taking He's Coin is taking a big socks. rip on that big rip on that uh, hot cocoa. <laughs> yeah, dude, well, I'm sorry. There was um, you had um, you had mentioned that yes, uh, they had marshmallows in uh, the cupboard. I can get you more of the marshmallows. Yes. But uh, you, you uh, like Dax is kind of lowering her voice at this towards him. This this just makes it slightly more awkward thinking about when I was being brought back and I saw Bakam Boots and our Mathman in whatever form. This just made things a little more awkward in my mind now. Like you are worried that they are working together? More than why the fuck wouldn't Bahamut have eaten his ass? Do you you know what I mean, Coin? Okay, um Sorry. Like it's 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 weird, weird, weird. What the fuck? What the fuck is with us and God's coin? I don't ugh. All right, come come over. Talk to talk to Coin. Come come over here. Come. I want to go to a go to a, a one just like a little credenza. Fly up on the credenza, so I'm a little more eye level. Are you guys still in the cellar? Uh, we're upstairs. I, oh. I think we're upstairs. Okay, so Probably. when you went upstairs, it's weird. The manor is now derelict. Like everything here was fake. Like not how it looked. Not pristine. It all looks abandoned and ruined. Are you saying there's no Coco? There is no Coco. <gasps> the Coco's a lie. You've stolen the Coco from my lips. Yeah. <laughs> Cornelius yeah. takes another drink of the mug and it's just like empty. <laughs> and just dust. It tasted normal as the as like whatever the illusion was starts to fade, it's just like moldy cocoa mix. Like someone doing the cinnamon challenge. Yeah. Coin <laughs> throws the mug. Bullshit, Coco! <laughs> Crack. All right. So we've gotten a real long sip of some bullshit, Coco. Everybody's doing some fucked up shit. I'm trying to remember what you had just mentioned, what you were upset about. Is that because we had said, oh, are you worried the gods are working together? But no, what was that you said? I was saying when that one of the times that I was getting brought back. It was Bahamut and our Mathman. And just thinking about the two of them together, but Bahamut not fucking with our Mathman. And it's just weird. It's weird. No, I... I what yes. the fuck coin? Yes. So to, to, to bring that all full circle... Um... Alright. I'm, I'm going to tell you something I have not told anyone. Bahamut is far kinder and judges with his full heart more than I have ever had the ability to. I aspire to be like Bahamut. He is not... He is obviously one of the strongest, most powerful deities. Obvious, obviously, I mean, come on, drink him in. 
Yes, he is, coin. Yes, I mean, he is scales, talons, and just, you know, massive, beautiful. What can I say? All of it. But, uh, for anyone... Not only can he inflict damage, he can take a punch. And that is what he will do. Someone is upset, he will stand there and take it on the chin until they are ready. Like, that is what his judgment do. He does not look to inflict damage. He does not look to inflict his will. He does not look to take the power that he has uh, attained and use it to bend the world. His power is that he does not use it for abuse of those who do not agree with him. He, he like, he, he waits until they are tuckered out and they can have their full say. That is what he does with everyone. It is not a judgment through uh, pain or causing. He does not puppet those who follow him. You know, he does not uh, break those who disagree with him. He can wait the full time that they try and punch. He can go 15 rounds. He goes the distance every time. Every single time he goes the distance. He's going for and, speed. And, and so he, he, he doesn't, it is not, it is not, hey, why did you do this? Uh, go climb a tree, you uh, jump in a lake, you, you know, what, uh, don't do that. It is, uh, sure, that is how you feel today. But let us see how you can feel tomorrow. Coin, I will interrupt you on the one fact that when Bahamut saw us literally how many days ago, he said, if I continue on the path, that's going to be very bad. So, I right. Uh... And it and it affected you. And you made changes, yes? Okay, fair, fair. That's fair. Right. It is. I, and I don't mean to sound like that weird uh, shitty teacher thing when people say oh but did you learn something but yeah. kind of he says things to affect things but at the end of the day there's I f wholeheartedly believe that Bahamut's judgment would not come to you to he's not going to swoop in and like break your neck or something Bahamut is trying to lead with love, and if that is a tough, harsh love, so that you understand that you cannot just scream, oh, Bahamut, motherfuckers, and like, you know, <laughs> stab orphans. Like, that is not what he wants. I did, was not an orphan, I they know, had I'm, parents. That's fair, you know, but those who have parents still don't want to die all the time. But I'm, I'm saying at the end of the day, Bahamut's judgment is not that of, he is not he is not a hammer smashing into an anvil. Bahamut's judgment is more like water inside of a kettle. It moves and changes and fits the situation it needs to. He becomes different states of energy. That is more accurate to Bahamut than the hammer and anvil. He is the water. He is the wind. Also, I'm so pissed about that cocoa. Are you pissed about the cocoa? Because I thought I had made everyone a nice Dax bit of cocoa. Dax goes into their bag, and when they were at one of the houses that had a wine thing, they grabbed a thing of kelp wine and moon wine, and they still have it in their bag, so they're going to send it to their dad, and they never did, and uh, Dax just pulls out the bottle of kelp wine and just pops the cork. 
and just takes a small sip and then just hands okay. it to Coin, just like. Uh, a coin just uh, thank you, but no. Uh, but also no. I do believe that I am a vessel of Bahamut. I am it, through here through me. His great works are realized. And I want you to know this. And he holds out a hand for a handshake. Yeah, Jack, Jack, supposed to put their hand out. And says, "You are still wielding a sword of Bahamut. I have not taken that away. And I have dedicated to teach you the ways of Bahamut. It is always the quiet guy in the fight who wins." Not the one who yells, you know, if you scream, you know, Bahamut, yeah. But if you come in and it is through your actions, and that is what Bahamut said when I saw, it is through your actions that you become a true follower of Bahamut. Not a, not the, oh, Bahamut, yeah, my dude. But like, you have to, you know, really live that Bahamut life. Okay. okay. Dax puts the cork back on the bottle. But yeah, I mean, drink. Would you? Do you? Do you? But I'm. Coin. Good, but we have other you? shit to deal with outside. We do also. We uh, do. <laughs> okay. Who does anyone? Uh, you were here, weren't you? Were you not Flitz? Do you know about this family that has maybe been the cause of some of this nasty stuff? Like there was, the. I mean, I know they were under the. The power of uh, sort of necrotic celestials going down, but like they mentioned something about a family. Was that at all? Did that ring any ding dong bells for you? Um, Flitz is currently teaching Gremlin Flitz how to a secret handshake. <laughs> it's not going that well. No, um, he keeps on trying to nip at my fingers. Uh, he kind of sit them down uh, well, I'm sorry uh, I've let you and your Dax have a moment uh, you said something about a family that they mentioned I don't yeah, they I didn't said remember there's a family who's kind of cursed or something and you had mm -hmm. mentioned you, you you wanted to re remain anonymous uh, just... those connections what's the deal is there some sort of you wanted to hide from this evil family or no, no, not hide. I wanted to uh, be sure that my uh, my kin and such were of okay mindsets before we uh, before I like. Hello, I'm back. You know. So. I mean, I are you really worried glad. that your kin were those who got snatched up by this sky demon? Yeah, I. You know, I thought about it. I've been thinking about it for a bit now, uh, but to Kenneth's families and such like that had to take a little pertinent uh, action on that. Um, hey, what's it? What's the deal? What's your deal, bud? Like, what do you mean? You're a little, you're a little, you're being a little, like, you're not, you feels like you're being a little uh, shifty. You're being a little, you're a little, a little avoidant. No? Plus your oh, bottle, no. Your bottle shakes. Oh, it's kind of pushes it back down. Nope, it shakes uh, again. Right. Push it back down and it hold again. his hand there for it. Yeah, just keep shaking. <laughs> One second. He pulls it up and he checks it. It's, it looks like a bottle. He'll sit on the ground in front of him. Mm-hmm. Lose his hands. Shakes again. Okay, it was nice. Thank you. And he'll wave off and drop concentration on Gremlin Flitz. Okay, disappears. So he, disappears. Uh, I know we've been dealing with other things, but uh, can we, uh, can we like move? Can we like go down back to Holly Shire, please? Vile shakes again. 
Okay. Druck has been checking the bodies. What bodies? Uh, the the closest one being the one that's outside, um, and then probably checking anything that's left around the. No area. other bodies, just Oswell outside, which he wouldn't have okay, known about. Yeah. Uh, well, he would have gone out there because Kenna went out there, said said they saw a god, and then came back in. Okay, so Oswald's laying on there. the ground. Yeah. Looks like he was okay. beaten to death. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, he's going to check the body, see if there's anything of note. Like the money that flits gave him. They were bottlers, so. Money that uh, flits gave five, him. Five platinum pieces. Five platinum pieces that flits gave him. Hmm. We'll take that. Um, uh, so that's it? That's all that this guy had on him? And yeah, he, he ran in a hurry, in a panic. Yeah, okay. So five platinum. Alright, cool. Which no is keys. a lot. No keys, okay. No keys, because he ran in a panic. Yeah, yeah. And coin has keys. Mm, okay, okay. But this house is it's derelict like, and abandoned. You can assume everything was an illusion when you got here. So there's no valuables in this house. Pretty easy to put yeah, two yeah, together. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not no, too I'm just, worried about valuables or anything. I'm like just trying to figure out what's like what's up. What like, how did how we... did this guy stick around this whole time and like what was going on you don't there? Know. And... You don't deal right. Yeah. You don't. I mean, yeah. I so, selfishly I thought. Yeah. What, what did we eat last night? Who did I see at three in the morning? <laughs> the stables, they truck outside the stables. Any animals that were in there have decomposed, like, incredibly. So all the animals you saw in there, the horses that you were talking to, weren't real. Hmm. The stagecoach is immaculate that you were brought in, but everything else is deteriorated beyond belief. We, uh... Oh, he's outside, not me. Damn it. All I want to do is run to that stagecoach and get Coco now. This is worse. All of these things made it past Kenna's magic detection. Very worrisome. And also you can see that blizzard, that storm has left the, the grounds, but is now centered around the mountain, and is getting worse and worse. Like it's focused on the mountain. I don't like this. And you're alone outside, yeah. Yeah, I'll give one last look. Yeah, all right. See if there's anything, and then head back in. Well, before you do that, sure. Uh, does a fourteen hit? No. Okay, cool. You head back inside. Did I see anything? Nope. Usually, when things attack, you can see nope. where they attack. Nope. No, this from. thing. Okay, cool. You just head back inside. Okay. So I do. I don't. Nope. Okay. So the role play wise. I, Druck has no clue anything happened. Nope. Okay, cool. Thank you. <clears throat> I don't like this. Hmm. Turns back around. Heads back in again. Okay. Then that's that's it. Okay. Did you find anything you were looking for, Druck? Just some ominous clouds and bad feelings. Whatever's going on here is not over. Yeah. No matter what my uh, family issues are, we still got a job to do here. Mm hmm. Uh, Druck, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for how I talked to you when I was rushing out of here. Well, this isn't about me. So. You're my you friend, Druck. Hmm? You're my friend. I no. care about how I speak to you. And it wasn't right for me to yell at you like that. I think that's enough it. I've already forgotten it. Thanks, bud. Hmm. We need to find some drugs real soon, bud. 
Well, at least there's, you know, a tow tankard somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. Regardless, we do still have a job ahead of us. Uh, Since your bottle shakes more. <laughs> do you think, uh, mm, too soon? I'll bring it up later. All right. Maybe. Let's just say I've got something in, in Freezer that we can try out later. See if it does anything interesting. Is it old dragon meat? No. no. Although I do still have some of that. This day keeps getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> it does. Uh, cool. What are you guys doing? Anything? Fletcher jar just keeps shaking. It's not, oh. it's not relaxing, Fletcher's like it's holding just... on to it, like at Dude. the door, not does making eye contact with people. Is like awkwardly kid who already got all of his toys and coat and shoes on at like a family function is already at the door like doesn't want to say anything because right. he's the kid. So fun fact because like, because this building has deteriorated so much the walls mm -hmm. are kind of like not there anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of just wind like. Mm -hmm. Plus he's just standing. So it's real drafty waiting. in here now. Yeah. Uh, does anyone want any healing before we go into a possibly second dangerous location? Looks pretty fine. fucked up. <laughs> I I think we should uh, find Wait, a place to catch our breath. Yeah, who's 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 fucked up right now? Do they, does anyone need healing? We should we should I'm find a place to catch our breath. Twenty-two out of and then, seventy-three, and then do some healing. Uh, um, I'm gonna pop a third rest. level healing. Word I will say, if you're talking about a long rest, not enough time has passed to take a long rest. I'm talking about a short rest. Oh, okay, cool. Like yeah, like short rests are extremely yeah. useful. Yeah, it's because it's, it's, our... it's, it's only nine. It's only nine a.m. Yeah. Yeah, we do not yeah. need to use a bunch of spell slots. You know? That's true. So maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe we'll just uh, short we'll... rest with the cocoa. Okay. Yeah, grab grab some of those. Uh, well, maybe... Short rest grab... in the wagon with cocoa. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. That tastes real nice. Yep. Let's will already make his way out the door toward the. <laughs> maybe Let's for... already headed out. Maybe for those who are a little adventurous, do a little drop okay. of uh, uh, liquid from the okay. the green the green dragon breath pouch. Okay, you all you all we see, got some of that. You all see yeah. Flitz walk up the front door. But yeah, coin <laughs> coin will follow. Dax will follow. Okay. Same. But also, uh, Ricky, mm -hmm. how you how you today? Also, before we go, yeah. oh, sorry, before we go any further, Caleb, I answered you on Discord. Okay, sorry. You know, I'm I'm doing all right. I'm I'm doing. I'm doing. I didn't really see anything that happened down there, so I'm just a little confused, but I'm I'm all right. All right. Because you could not see. Um mm -hmm. yeah, Ricky was blinded after the first round of combat and then saw nothing afterwards. It was just a bunch of like like all the next thing he knows he's on he's like just the world spun, and then he like seemed like felt like he was falling, but he landed on his feet, and then it happened again. He landed on his back, and then like a minute later, his sight came back, and there was just a pile of feathers, and he's just like, "What happened?" Yeah, not your fault, but you were in, in the way for a couple of my shots while you were blinded there. Yeah. So we are taking a short <laughs> rest. I don't know. Flitz went outside, and, everyone, and coin followed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. let us let us let us go. Okay. Hurt. Well, you all walk past the stagecoach. Oh, no, into the no. stagecoach. Oh, you go into the stagecoach. That is, yeah, yeah we're trying okay. to take a long rest in the stagecoach. Oh, short, short rest, rest, short rest. Yeah. Or, sorry, sorry, thank you. Yeah, yes. you all cram into the stagecoach. Not really cram, you all get into the stagecoach. And the, unfortunately, the hot cocoa machine isn't as talkative as it was before. It's just kind of silent. Aww. <laughs> but it still you... works? As you say, as I, as I rub, as I give it a little, Please. give it a little rub. Please. What do you still do, Coco? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, with the death of my master, I can no longer perform my duties. I mean, as your master's only live-in sibling, would Is ownership there... transfer to me? I'll, Is there I'll look of... into it. Bring me along and I'll let you know. <laughs> That's not a no. <laughs> yeah, that's not a hard no. <laughs> not a no. 
Just so disappointing. Uh, it's like a little. It's like, like it looks like the hot co- hot cocoa machine from like uh, the Santa Claus movie, with mm-hmm. the same kind of mugs. But this one's just got a face on it, and it talks out of the face, a metal face, the magic mouth spell. Yeah, just like bring me along and let you know we'll find out together. All right, that's fair. Blitz is sitting at the window, so he is watching the storm. The storm, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty potent. Yep. Oh, there's so the storm has to come back. It's in, it's at the mountains. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, Flitz. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It seems familiar. Mm-hmm. 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 But like, the there's top. A, there's a gap in that memory, and it's like you're accessing a memory you have no memory of. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that. Like, he has the jitters before. Yeah. A storm. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think? Drumming on the top of the. It's off beat. It's really not that great. It's kind of um, occupying itself. Does anybody want to do anything while during the short rest? Yeah, I, I think Coins can probably take a step out away okay. from everyone and. Sure pull out the little kneeler that we have, the Bahamut kneeler and uh, give it, just pop off a prayer to Bahamut. Okay. And like, kind of keep Ven in his thoughts. Sure. As well. Yeah. Um, cool. Um, uh, all right. Only percentile dice. Got you. Seconds. I'm so annoyed that I lost my golf ball. I'll find it sometime, but I have a the the one hundred sided die. Yeah. It looks like a golf Half ball. Half pounder or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that's gonna be yeah, absolute trash. Seventeen. Perfect. Lair very low percentage. Cool. The wind around you kind of shifts a little bit. It's different than the storm that's going on in the mountains, but it shifts differently. And you get a sense there's a presence here with you listening. A familiar presence. Hey, Bahamut, are you there? It's me, Coin. Uh, I just wanted to reach out to you, and I am not asking for... I ask nothing of you. That's not why I'm, you know, giving you the old ring-a-ding. I'm asking... uh, that you uh, support Ven in his time of struggle. And I've heard some pretty, pretty strong allegations coming after our math, the, the God himself, not the religion, cause boy, howdy, we've been ripping that down. <laughs> but like, I mean, the actual entity themselves I've heard some pretty pretty robust mm-hmm. claims and I, I just I want to make sure that Ben is okay and supported and I just hope that uh, that his time on Mount Celestia with you and your mighty goodness I, I hope that uh, I hope that just, just that my friend Fen has received uh, strength and guidance, and I hope that he is not uh, left in a state of uh, abandonment from someone who might use his strong faith and uh, for their own gains. I'm just I'm saying I don't want him to follow someone who is taking advantage of his goodness. The uh, yeah. the wind shifts again to a different 
uh, presence, but one still familiar. Sam, I sent you something. Mm. Um, question. Okay. There's like a hold tone, <laughs> like hold music. <laughs> yeah. Fermata. No, 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 that's cross. What? That's cross <laughs> campaign stuff. Never mind. Oh, 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 oh all right. Cross yeah. 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 I'm not on a ship. <laughs> There's no tiny hut. There is not. Just instant fortress. Oh. I'm not smelling delicious like and leather and a free stagecoach. And a free stagecoach. Oh, if only if only we could get Derbule here. Or someone who could turn into a piece of burden. You know what? I just went through significant. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Um, <laughs> Give me a fucking break. Yeah. That's too damn bad. <laughs> I'm taking a day off. Be an oxen. Fair. We need it. Uh, okay. Well, right. while the well, dial while the dial tone's happening, uh, yeah, Kenna, you feel your crystal kind of crack. And get warm to the touch. I start staring down at and it. And a point grows out of it. And it continues to like... Like it's forming out of nothingness almost. Just in the okay. same color as the crystal, but it's forming like a... Like it's growing? No, it's well, like the crystal is growing like... A handle to it, we'll say. It starts to grow and grow, gets staff length. That happens in the stagecoach. Just yeah, I start sticking it like outside the window so it doesn't smack mm. anyone in the face. Yeah. Uh, pull it back in. Show everyone. We got room for another staff, right? As long as it's not cursed. Do I still sense, like, the Cathadium sickness attached to it? No. no. It has become something else. <gasps> I think this... I think it might be alright. Famous last words, Kenna. How many times have I said that? You're right. No, you're right, Dax. Yeah, I'll just I'll just put this away for now, <laughs> just to be safe. Once you figure out what it is, I'll add it to your character sheet. <laughs> uh huh. But it, it is no longer the Cathadium Crystal. Oh. So would I still have my twenty-two wisdom score, or? Yes. Okay. Like I said, once you figure out what it does, it'll be added yeah. to your character. So keep the Canadian crystal there for the time being. Okay. Just for like some of the mechanics it offers you, but no more. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna shift back outside to Coin talking to basically the snow and the wind. So Coin, you feel this another familiar presence show up as the one that felt. Like Bahamut leaves, another presence shows up and begins speaking. Hello, coin. Uh, I understand that there are things about our Mathden. Trust me when I say that things are moving in a good direction. Have faith. And then I, the presence leaves. I absolutely leaves. do. I, I, I do. I do have faith. I believe in you, Ven. That's what I said. I, there was no way we were going to try and kill our Mathenin. That's I'm saying. I got your back, dude. Right on. Okay, well. Love you. Bye. Oh. Except the, the little kneeler puts it back mm -hmm. in. Puts it back in the thing. Love Comes you. Back. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 
goes back to the the stagecoach. Okay. Um, so are you? Uh, so are, are we gonna are we gonna beat the cocoa machine till it cries hot chocolate for us? Or what's the deal? No, thank you. I said this as a joke. I say this as a joke. That is, I'm sorry. Maybe I was too too stone faced. My bad. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I little think, machine. I think once we get a quick rest in, we can head up to the mountain. See what's going on up there. As I mentioned, the mountain, it's just jar just shakes like all over the place. Like a dancing bean. Just... It's what? Yes. What mm-hmm. is up? Why? What's in there? Yeah, I don't mean to interrupt Dax, but I have the exact same question. Uh, no, nothing's, nothing's in there, per se. There's a lot of my belongings. Bullshit mountain. Uh, Bullshit mountain? There's an entire mountain? Yes, and it is. There's becoming a mountain of bullshit that well, uh, it's not... our dear friend Flitz is standing astride. It's not really. <sighs> okay, you know when you have one of those uh, memories that uh, you don't remember that you had, but you know that it's there. When you think about it, it makes you uncomfortable. So, I mean, I know, I I know kind of uh, a bit of how, you know, I came into my powers. Uh, I came to be gifted with some of my powers, but there's also a lot of it that I don't know, or I don't really remember, or I can't remember. So, um... But being back home, it's like uh, right before a big storm or, uh, you know, a big rain, uh, you can feel it, you know, in your body. And coming back, it's only gotten more and more uncomfortable. And with my jar moving in such a way, It's less of a discomfort and more of an uncertainty now. I'm worried. I'm scared. Uh, anyway. Jar stops shaking. Yeah. I'm. I'm sorry, Flitz. I had no thought that you had gone to the same place as Ven, so I assumed. That you knew that your, I I assumed it was book magic. No. That uh, had, but no. It, what? No. It's so not. it is like Kenna, just like nature magic. Uh, so that's kind of why uh, why I went to the school or why they found me. A part of it was my family thought it was a blessing, and it kind of was for a bit. I've never received such a boon from my family. Usually we're quite the opposite. And I, uh, part of me was so ready to go is because I figured I would discover things. Or learn. I, I never did, so I stopped looking. And I found comfort and knowledge and things that were unknown but could be known you know it's like when you have a memory like i said and you you can't really ever find it so to avoid thinking of that memory you find other things that are supposedly memories and lost thoughts and lost dreams and you you replace those and you find meaning behind them and it's don't really like talking about it. It makes me feel not great about myself, this kind of stuff, because uh, I don't want to really find out what this could be, because if I do, what if it gets taken away? And I don't want that. Um, And I think a part of me feels like it could be taken away. Anyway, I'm going to start crying. And he kind of turns and opens the door a little bit so the cold air blows into his face. Um, 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. No, no, you go, you go, Caleb. Wordlessly, you can say whatever you want. Sorry, his coin would go over, put a hand on his shoulder. But Dax, with the words. Litz, I can understand that. I have had two different entities, Bahamut included, say I have fucked up really somehow and I have no memory of this and I, I don't know what they're talking about but what if whatever you find out instead of being so horrible and it being taken away from you what if it just gets doubled what if it's even more yeah I mean it's a possibility but I've learned that <laughs> you know I don't know. I don't know how to articulate it in a way that would make a lot of sense because it's, you know, he kind of taps the the headband. Uh, I kind of envy Vin because he was smart in a way that I never could have been on my own. I needed help. So that's like a big struggle is to know that where my powers come from is help because I'm smart in certain aspects is because I have help I needed help getting out of a jar I needed help getting all these places and he just gets really quiet and just kind of like looks down not really looking at the window anymore kind of gets a little drawn I appreciate your help though Help, help does not make you weak. Like, the bricks that hold up a building are helping each other hold up that building. No, no one brick is weak. It's things that are bound together that become strong. They are helping each other hold the things together. Help does not make you weak. Standing without people beside you and refusing to be part of a system, that's the kind of nonsense that makes you weak. You are strong for your ability to accept that help. That is incredibly strong to allow yourself the open vulnerability of... of sharing with others that is an amazing strength oh. you also want to hide and seek so i think you're s smart in that aspect right? pretty pretty good like, at that too yeah see also you're generous i've never seen someone with such an open hand thank you both appreciate it um, you should know that uh, this group that we've assembled it is not the first group that I have been in. I've been in many others, and I left all of them of my own accord. Uh, I chose to stay with this group because, well, honestly, they are stronger than me. In more ways than one. Does that make me weak? Probably. But that is not something that I value one way or another. I don't know if that is useful in what you are dealing with right now, but... I don't have a lot of context. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's, I appreciate I appreciate your words. I do. Uh, but it is, uh, you know, 60 plus years you go and these last three weeks have been different uh, for me in a lot of ways 
Uh, I don't know. Don't know what to do. I think I say. Can we just rest and figure this out? Can we get there? Please. We'll do what we always do. Keep moving and sort shit out when it happens. All right. Uh, you all gain the is gonna. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Let's is going to attempt to will himself into his bottle. It works. Okay. He's going to sit in that hanging bed. For the he's gonna hang out for about an mm -hmm. hour or so. Mm -hmm. Um and a lot of his thoughts are he's kind of it's like one of those things you take it all in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, when you leave for school or college, mm -hmm. you graduate and you sit down in your college dorm for the last, it's kind of what it is. He's just kind of taking it all in and realizing, oh fuck, I have a lot of shit in here. Um, that if things don't go right, it's gonna, it's, don't know what's gonna happen to it. Um, so that's, he'll spend the next hour okay. of a short rest doing that. Okay. Towards the end of your short rest, you get the sense that you're not alone in your bottle and there's something else sitting with you and you feel like you feel like the pressure of something sit beside you let's is there anybody there um yeah there is it looks like you for a second And then it shifts. As I find the description. It, sh it takes a long time to shift. Um, the slow more. It's a slow, like, Animorphs book cover like more. A, like a Laffy um, Taffy oh, pool. No. <laughs> Stretch it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, where is it? Dang it. Where is it? Here we go. shifts into a blue-skinned sort of individual. Mm -hmm. um, muscular. Bald. Wearing airy silks. Colorful airy silks. Um, you seem troubled. A bit. A little. It's not you in the mountain, is it? No. Okay. Okay. It's... What we spoke about when we made our pact. Okay. It's a little... Blurry. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you want me to refresh in your memory? Um, yeah, please. You made a pact with me. My name is Uzerun. Uzerun. O O Z Z U R U N. And with that pact, I have bestowed some of my strengths onto you. We made an agreement that you would protect my sacred grounds from harm. And harm has come upon them. The elementals that protected the temple and the mountains, the shrine where you found me, are not adept at differentiating 
friend from foe and they've been assaulting the village below trying to lure out the ones who broke the seal at the heart and intended to release our prisoner inside I need you to stop this prisoner from being freed uh, if I do this uh, can we make another pact we can make another one right now if you'd like sure uh -huh. Do you want to do the terms, or should I? Well... Our first pact... I promised you a wish for your aid. Oh. You can set the terms for the second. Okay. Um, okay, um, you will allow me to have these powers, and these abilities, <sighs> until I grow old. I have family. I'm happy. <laughs> Again. And I will you know, I don't care what you want me to do, but that's that's all I want. Scared to let people down by not having them. So I'll, I'll, I'll go ensure that your grounds are kept and good. But I don't want that to really be the end. So I'll make that work. My kind are usually imprisoned in vessels such as this by wizards seeking okay. to use us for their own purposes. You broke my vessel and freed me from my prison. You will have me for as long as you need me. Okay. Um, wait, do I still get that wish? Of course. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, that really helps. Thank you. That keep you carry on your person. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. This is the first time I've sensed it. It is important. Right. But be safe. Thank you. I think of you as a friend. We don't speak. I think we don't speak often. That's okay. <laughs> Not every friend needs to talk all the time. But when you do talk, they're good. The entity imprisoned in the temple is a Tao. I should give you the full details and not slivers. It is a Tao imprisoned an age ago by the ones who built the shrine, the temple. This Tao enslaved any mortal who would come across. And if it were to escape, the entire village below would be bound into its surface. Every single person. For this Tao is a noble genie like myself. 
Thus, it is more powerful than its Tao brethren. Its name is Rukosa. The guardians of my temple will not be able to differentiate you from, from friend or foe. Know your allies. They will try to kill you to defend the temple. I will not punish you nor your friends for defending yourselves. He's not like a genie like you, though, right? We are both noble genies. I am Jin. He is a Tao. He is of the elemental plane of earth. I am elemental plane of air. That was it, so... <sighs> okay. Um, I sure wish we had longer. I have to get back. Um, thank you. I still listen. Even when it doesn't seem like it. When you're in here, I can hear. I had a recently in the last couple weeks, haven't had a reason to really come in here and chat. It's been nice to have. Yeah. So anyway, yes. Um but I I I will do that more often. Apologize. You don't have to apologize for anything. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, you have a dangerous trek up in the mountains. Would you like some assistance? I would never say no to assistance. To help. I can't do this often. Maybe you warn your friends it might be a bumpy ride. Okay. Uh, okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, he'll bow graciously and close his eyes and will himself to okay. leave. Alright. You all do gain the benefits of short rest. Let me roll my fucking dice. Some more. Any effort you pop out of your bottle. Two more. Okay. Um, uh, all right, uh, everyone. Everyone in. Uh, hold on. Tight. Just trust me. Please. And he'll kind of brace himself a little bit. Okay. You hear howling winds form around the stagecoach. The window is open. Like, the curtains on the window are open. So all of you who look outside see a tornado manifest around the stagecoach it's okay it's okay and just start whipping the stagecoach around in this tornado it's bumpy like you're all like <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. and the stagecoach is, it's not like painful it's just <laughs> uh, and the stagecoach is whipping around in this Turbulence. tornado yeah <laughs> the stagecoach is whipping around in this tornado and then <laughs> it just flies through the air and you look at the window the tornado is down below dissipating and you are about a mile up in the sky, sailing through the clouds in like a free fall, like <laughs> like you were thrown. It's all right. It's all right. It's just like Next. holding on. Like, it's, it's trust. And trust. because of the force and how high you are, it's like zero G in the uh, stagecoach. Mm -hmm. so everything's just like in free fall inside. <laughs> and out the window, you can see the stagecoach basically gracefully falling. Um, there's some classical music music playing over top is <laughs> it's all very slow mo yeah and wow. uh, oh my God. you watch as in it through, you go you plunge into the blizzard you can just feel the howling winds of the blizzard whipping at the stagecoach tossing it around one of the wheels 
sails off and just disappears into the storm. The door gets wrenched open and it also is <laughs> blown off the hinges. The stagecoach lands softly in the snow. And through the window of the stagecoach, you come upon it. You can see a large maw of a doorway carved into the mountainside. And surrounding the edges of this door are crude carvings of what seem to be depictions of gusts of wind, like little swirls. And a constant strong breeze seems to be emanating from inside the cave. And that's what we're going to end the session for the week. God damn. Shit. So. God, so much has happened. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thrown through the air. Like you just don't care. Good night, everybody. <laughs>